Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. One Piece. Intercepting Lin Lin, I create the Lunaria Protoss. Chapter 51. It just so happens that I got the mini fruit tailor made for the giants. Playing with the Paramesha mini fruit. Gerd narrowed his crescent eyes and suggested to I Ur. I Ur, how about we go back to I Urbafu to find a powerful giant as a companion. Okay, it's good. There seems to be no other suitable candidates in the giant village except the members of the giant pirates. Iyer shrugged. To be honest, in the giant pirates, except for the two leaders Blue Ogre and Red Ogre who have disappeared for a long time, the other members are really not in his eyes. Of course, when the fallen angel pirates grow stronger in the future, and even directly conquer a piece of territory and establish a pirate country, it is possible to recruit giants as combat forces. But at the moment, he naturally does not want to use the ability of the mini fruit on those members of the giant pirates who are mediocre and have no great potential. Gah, oh, that's right. If there is no suitable candidate in the village, you can go to the giant town to find one. Hilding grinned and laughed there. Speaking of giants. Longbread raised his hand and said to I Ur, I do have a suggestion, Lord I Ur. Have you seen ancient giants? I Ur's eyes fixed. Instantly saw what Longbread was thinking. He looked at him in surprise. He didn't expect that this guy had such a rich adventure experience. He had even seen the rare ancient giants. You can guess this. Longbread widened his eyes. He looked at Iur in disbelief. Immediately, he didn't dwell on these, and nodded excitedly. A few years ago, I saw two humanoid monsters with horns that were even bigger than the giants on an island in New World. I was almost scared to the point of my legs going weak, and later I learned that they were the legendary ancient giants. What? Ancient giants? Gerd and Helding were shocked and speechless. As giants, they naturally had heard of the existence of ancient giants. It is said that the size is much larger than the giants, but it is said that the brains of the ancient giants are not very good, and they are very irritable and cruel. Ale. Ancient giants. Lin Lin tilted his head, full of confusion aren't Gerd, Hilding and others giants. Ancient giants are a special race whose size is much larger than that of giants. They are several times larger than the giants we see on weekdays. Iyer touched Linlin's head and explained with a smile. Longbread naturally didn't know, he didn't guess it at all, but directly read his mind. However, the special observation hockey that he was born with is one of Iyer's secret trump cards. Not only can he predict the enemy's moves, but he can also identify loyalty and treachery, good and evil, and prevent people with bad intentions from mixing into his team. But he won't foolishly publicize it all over the world and easily expose his trump cards. Even if others guess it, he won't admit it directly. Bigger than the giants. Lin Lin was full of surprise. Although the ancient giants are powerful, I think it should not be a problem to subdue them with your strength, Lord I Ur. Bred looked at Iyer with a burning gaze and asked, Lord Iyer, I have the life card of that island. Do you want to try it? Of course, Iyer would not refuse. This is a pleasant surprise. If the ancient giants can be subdued. In the near future, his lofty goal of creating a country that gathers all races will really be realized. In addition, the ability of the Paramesha mini fruit is very special. Even if the size of the ability user is reduced, except for weight and height, the other values such as the ability user's strength, appetite, and attack power will not change. And in theory, the skin, muscles, organs, etc. will also be compressed to ultimate. With the huge size of the ancient giants, if they are reduced to the size of normal humans, or even smaller. If they can master the six styles in hockey proficiently, the combat power they will exert at that time will definitely be amazing. If things go wrong, there will be another monster under his command that is invulnerable, powerful, and amazing. No delay. Let Thundercloud Zeus grow bigger and take the treasures directly. The group quickly left Barbary Island and set sail again on the Demon King Lucifer. Prepare to go to the island where Longbread once encountered the ancient giants. Dot dot dot. Two days passed quickly. Iyer's bounty has not changed. The news that the fleet led by Kong, the commander of the G11 branch, suffered heavy losses from the attack by the fallen angel Iyer has not spread. Wa In the unknown sea, the demon king Lu Cipher continued to move forward with the huge waves created by the sea homies. Long bread, are you sure it's here? 
looking at the boundless sea around him and the large sea kings that occasionally rushed out of the water, Hilding shouted, there are many sea kings here. Is it the edge of the calm belt? It's definitely not wrong, my lords. Looking at the yellowed life card in his hand, which has obviously been stored for a long time. Longbread shouted, it should be not far away. Lord I err, we are here. Suddenly, the sharp-eyed Longbread, pointing to the looming island in front, he reminded loudly. Are we there? Linlin, Gerd, Hilding and others. All of them couldn't help but brighten their eyes, full of expectations. They hadn't seen the real ancient giants yet. It's a footprint, so big. Not long after, the demon king Lucifer, driven by the sea master, soon arrived at the coast, and saw several huge footprints from afar. Roar. Just then, a huge sea king suddenly emerged from the water. Its bloody mouth with sharp teeth was about to bite several people. Huh. On the bow. I err, who was about to land, looked stern. Clang. A cold light flashed. The sword at the waist. Swung out brazenly. Kai, the atmosphere was directly torn apart. A huge light blue slashing wave broke through the air. In an instant, it whizzed through the hundreds of meters long sea kings like lightning. Cut off the head of the sea kings alive. Wallala. In an instant, the huge and ferocious head rolled down. The huge body crashed into the sea. A large area of seawater was splashed, and the gurgling blood soon dyed the sea red. Wow. So powerful. Lin Lin's eyes were full of stars, full of amazement. I er, boss, you are getting more and more powerful. Even Gerd and Helding couldn't help but admire. You can swing a flying slash at will. What a terrible talent. Looking at the tall figure with wings on his back and flames on the back of his head, he is not even ten years old, but he can't be underestimated. Longbread also sighed sincerely. Lord I er, I think you will become the world's number one swordsman in the near future. Okay, stop bragging there. You are still a long way to go to become the real world's number one swordsman. I er said with a smile. He still has self-knowledge. I am now just a miracle worker, at best I can only be considered a swordsman with decent strength and the ability to make flying slashes. There is still a big gap between me and a real great swordsman. Not to mention the world's greatest swordsman. Wow. Such a big footprint. It's really bigger than an adult giant. Led by I er, the group landed on the coast and came to several, big pits. The deep and shallow, somewhat exaggerated huge footprints made people dumbfounded. No, there are other human footprints here. I er soon found something wrong, because there were many dense footprints, and there are quite a few people, but it should have been a long time ago. He frowned slightly. The observation hockey, which has been extremely powerful with daily training. It was released in an instant, covering the entire island, and soon a strong breath was sensed. The brows were slightly relaxed, this breath. It seems that the effort was not in vain. Huh. Has anyone been here? Linlin, -lin, Gerd, Helding and others were full of surprise. Even the long bread was a little surprised. This place is close to the edge of the calm belt, which can be said to be quite remote. He had refused the recruitment of other pirates at first, and in order to avoid the pursuit of the other party, he deliberately took the risk to run here to avoid the limelight. It's a trace of battle. I er led a few people forward. Soon they found artillery pits and bullet holes. They even found deformed projectiles and the remains of shells. Looking at these traces, it should be two or three years. If nothing unexpected happens, the world government may have discovered the ancient giants living here and sent Marine here. World government. Marine. Why does the world government want to capture the ancient giants? Hearing I Ur's explanation, Lin Lin, Gerd and others were full of surprise and confusion. Even the long bread was a little stunned. Is the world government idle? Why did they send people to capture the ancient giants? The two ancient giants he met at the beginning lived here peacefully and did not run out to make trouble. They didn't look like pirates. I heard that the world government has been coveting the combat power of the giants, and is secretly conducting experiments on human gigantism, trying to turn human soldiers into giants or even ancient giants. I er was not surprised, and said lightly, so, they have been constantly capturing these rare special races and using them as experimental subjects for secret research. Of course, our Lunaria tribe is among them. What? Those fools of the world government. Too abominable. Hearing I er say this, several people couldn't help but shrink their pupils. 
Edgird and Hilding, the two giants. They were all a little indignant and gnashed their teeth. Bang. Bang. At this moment, the earth shook. An amazing breath was constantly approaching. A huge green figure rushed out of the forest. Waving a thick bone stick, it slammed Iur and others fiercely. Despicable humans, die. Bang. The huge bone stick was held down by Iur with one hand without changing his expression. What? Green face, fangs, and horns. The skin is green, no less than that of ordinary giants, about 10 meters tall, eyes widened. Looking at Iur in disbelief. I didn't expect this guy who is smaller than me and has wings. I was so strong that he easily blocked my attack. You know, even those ferocious sea kings. He can smash their heads with one stick. Bang. Iur grabbed the bone stick and swung it lightly. Instantly, the other party fell out in a mess. It crashed to the ground with a bang, raising a large amount of smoke and dust. Huh. This is. A young ancient giant. Lin Lin, Gerd, and Long Bread all looked at each other in surprise. Because the humanoid monster with green skin and horns in front of them was far less huge than imagined. It was even smaller than some adult giant warriors. But the ferocious face looked very young. It was easy to recognize that the other party was just a child who had not grown up. Hey, hey, it's not polite to start fighting right away without saying hello. Iyer said lightly. He came in front of the other party. Looking at the huge figure who was in a mess and fell to the ground, can you tell me what happened here? Said. His right hand directly reached out to the other person's head. He immediately checked his memory. It was the same as Iyer guessed. This young ancient giant was the future captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, Little Oz Jr. More than 400 years ago, he was a descendant of the demon Oz, who was known as the Fortune Bringer, and was a big villain who had caused trouble in North Blue and liked to move away the countries or islands he had taken a fancy to. In Little Oz's memory, he had lived here with his parents since he was a child. About two or three years ago, suddenly a group of armed, well-dressed government agents and a large number of marines came here on a warship. They tried to capture little Oz's parents. After a fierce battle, the marines used a large number of shells and a large dose of tranquilizer guns. But little Oz's parents, who only knew how to use brute force and were not good at fighting, were outnumbered and fell down due to exhaustion. They were captured and taken away by the world government. Little Oz was arranged by his parents to hide in a cave. So he escaped. Descendants of the demon Oz. Iur retracted his right hand and said with a smile. Don't get me wrong, we are not marines, and we have no ill intentions. According to the consistent style of the world government. And their persistent attitude towards human jauntization experiments for hundreds of years. If nothing unexpected happens, the parents of little Oz are likely to become experimental subjects. And in all likelihood, they are already in danger. Really. Little Oz widened his eyes. Looking at the figures in front of him who are much smaller than himself, but much larger than ordinary humans, he is somewhat skeptical. Of course, Hilding and I are giants. Gerd stepped forward and said with his hands on his waist, With you, an ancient giant, we can barely be considered compatriots. Is that so? Hearing this, Little Oz subconsciously believed the other party. Sitting up straight, scratching his head, he said innocently, Hello, my name is Little Oz. Sorry, I thought you were in the same group with those hateful marines. My name is Kukulkan Iur, a descendant of the Lunaria tribe and the giant tribe. Like you, my parents were killed by the world government and those marines when I was young. Iur pointed at Linlin, Gerd, Hilding and others, and said with a smile, they are all my companions. E.H. Were you also persecuted by the marines? Yes, we are the same people. World government. Those fools, they are so bad. Oz's parents didn't do anything, but they were captured by them. Soon, at Oz's invitation, everyone came to the cave where he lived. The group gradually became familiar with each other and learned the reasons why Oz was alone on the island. Except for Iyer who had already known about it, Linlin, Gerd, and Helding were full of indignation, gritting their teeth and hating the world government. Even long bread, no matter what he thought in his heart. At least he showed, anger, on his face. World government is such a piece of shit. So that's how it is, I was wondering why it disappeared. Long bread suddenly realized. When he accidentally broke into here, he met Oz's parents. 
However, before the other party found him, he ran away in fear. Oz, leave with us. Looking at the lonely and pitiful little Oz. Gerd felt infinite sympathy and said loudly, instead of staying here alone, why not go on an adventure with us? We have many companions. E.H. Going with you. Hearing this, little Oz was full of surprise. But at the same time, he was also somewhat moved. It was too boring and boring to stay here alone. Oz, we are all persecuted by the world government, but we can't give up on ourselves. Looking at the little Oz who was not yet an adult, even younger than Gerd, but whose body size was no less than 14 or 15 meters. Iyer opened his arms and smiled and said, One day, I will overthrow the brutal world government and build a country where all races can live happily together. You join us too. Overthrow the world government. Biting his huge finger. Blinking his ferocious big eyes. Little Oz stared blankly at Iyer in front of him, whose figure seemed infinitely majestic and tall. Build a country where all races can live happily together, really. Of course. Iyer nodded confidently. He stretched out his right hand and asked with a smile, Do you want to come with me? Yes, I want to follow you, Iyer. Little Oz was overjoyed and nodded repeatedly. The big hand comparable to that of an adult giant tightly grasped Iyer's, little hand. Great. Then from today on, we are companions, Oz. Welcome to join, Oz. Linlin, Gerd, Helding and others all said happily. It went smoothly unexpectedly. Seeing this, Longbread couldn't help but smile. He didn't know whether Iyer could overthrow the world government, but he believed that the other party would definitely become a big pirate who dominated the sea like an emperor. It might not be impossible to create a country that gathers all races. This is a gift for you. Iyer nodded with satisfaction. He took out the paramesha mini fruit directly from his arms and handed it to little Oz, eat it, Oz. After all, he is a young ancient giant. Although not very smart, hard work can make up for his shortcomings. Little Oz is honest and straightforward. He will not cheat during training and devotes himself to it. He believes that under his training, little Oz will definitely be more powerful in the future. What is this? He took the pitifully small fruit, which is equivalent to his own size. Little Oz gently pinched it, full of curiosity. This is the legendary sea treasure devil fruit. Iyer introduced with a smile. It can make your body size change freely, so you don't have to worry about your body getting bigger and bigger. Of course, you can also easily enter the ship without worrying about breaking the ship. Can it change size? That's great. Little Oz's eyes lit up. He threw it directly into his mouth. Baring his teeth, he showed a happy smile. Thank you so much, Iyer. You will experience the magic of the mini fruit in a moment. Iyer stood up and announced to everyone with a smile. Everyone. Let's have a party to celebrate Oz's joining. Great. Banquet. Banquet. Linlin, Gerd, Helding and others eyes lit up. Banquet means a lot of delicious food. This naturally made them full of expectations. Then Lord Iyer, I will prepare it right away. Longbread patted his chest and said with a smile. As a paramesha eat eat fruit user. This is too easy for him. Then I'll trouble you. Iyer nodded. The ability of the eat eat fruit is really convenient in this regard. It is completely possible to use local materials. And it is zero cost. Hee hee, let us help too. Gao oh oh, leave the ingredients to me. Lin Lin, Gerd, Helding and others have already seen Longbread's ability. One by one, they couldn't wait to run out of the cave to move the ingredients. E.H. This is. Then, Little Oz saw the inside of the cave. The big rocks and big wood outside the cave, were directly moved over by Linlin, Lin, Helding and others excitedly. Longbread pulled out the short sword from his waist and sliced them one by one as if cutting tofu. Moreover, in the blink of an eye, these sliced stones and wood turned into delicious meat slices and cakes. He couldn't help drooling at the sight. Don't be surprised. Seeing the incredible and somewhat silly look of Little Oz, Iyer smiled and introduced, Longbread is the ability user of the Paramesha Eat Eat Fruit. He can turn any non-living object into fresh ingredients, and then after his exquisite processing, it can become delicious food. Really. It's amazing. Little Oz exclaimed. He was about to step forward to help. But all of a sudden, his body size changed instantly, shrinking at a speed visible to the naked eye. In the blink of an eye, it became less than the size of a normal person's fingernail. 
If you don't look carefully, you can't easily find it. Huh. Oz has become smaller. Is this the ability of the mini fruit? Everyone present was surprised to see the smaller Oz. They all came forward curiously, looking at the mini Oz in front of them, which was only a few millimeters in size and could be ignored. Swish. The next moment, little Oz gradually grew bigger again. This time, he became only as tall as a normal person's knee. Great. I really got smaller. Looking up at the, huge, I er, Lin Lin, Gerd and others. Little Oz was full of surprise, and felt very interesting and excited. Swish. The next moment, he grew bigger again. About five or six meters tall, the same size as I er, Lin Lin and others. In this way, I will be the same size as everyone else. He scratched his head and said with his teeth bared. It can become a few millimeters, tens of centimeters, or a few meters tall. Looking at Oz, who is as tall as him, Iyer nodded with satisfaction. It seems that shrinking is not fixed, and it changes freely according to the wishes of the ability user. Come on, everyone. Soon. After finishing his work, Longbread shouted to everyone. We are ready, the banquet can begin. Is it ready? Great. Long bread, I want to eat durian pizza. Durian is not delicious, beef pizza is the best. The group ran over excitedly. Looking at the dazzling and crystal clear food. Even Iyer himself couldn't help but salivate, not to mention Lin Lin, Gerd, Helding, Little Oz and others who were still just children. Everyone's eyes lit up, and they couldn't help drooling, and they wanted to pounce on it immediately. Everyone eat as much as you want, and we will set off and return to Dreamland after eating. Oh oh. E.H. Ancient Giants. Are there any ancient giants bigger than the giants? Incredible. Three days later. Dreamland. A group of problem children in Dream House. Seeing I Er, Lin Lin, Longbread and others returning with Little Oz, they were all full of surprise. Looking at the little Oz, whose body size was fixed at the same height as Iyer and others, with green face and fangs and a ferocious face. And little Oz looked at the dreamland that dazzled him and had never seen before, his eyes were full of surprise. Looking at the ferris wheel that was constantly turning, he was even more eager to try. Okay, from today on, Oz is our partner, everyone should get along well. Iyer pointed at Oz and said with a smile. Got it, boss Iyer. Don't worry, I'll take care of him. You're the only one who's going to take care of Oz. He'll crush you into a dried fish with one foot. It's still me, hee hee. Hello, Oz. A group of problem children are noisy and squeeze each other, but there is a harmonious atmosphere. This is their way of getting along. Thanks to the education of Sister Carmelo in the past, they don't hate each other because of quarrels, or hate each other privately. In addition, according to the rules set by Iyer, the parent, even if there are irreconcilable contradictions in daily life, they can directly fight openly. If you lose, you can work harder to practice and find a way to win back. Of course, no matter what race, it is forbidden to bully other companions by relying on strength. Sometimes, these problem children still need him, the parent, to mediate and enlighten them personally. Everyone line up, I'll introduce Oz. Gerd stepped forward happily. Introducing them to little Oz one by one, this is Tyne from the Long Arm Tribe, Lock from the Long Leg Tribe, Moss from the Fur Tribe, Barry from the Snake Head Tribe, Jane from the Fish Man Tribe. At first, these children of different races. But they were almost scared by Lin Lin, the real, problem child. The hands of the Long Arm Tribe, the feet of the Long Leg Tribe, the neck of the Snake Head Tribe, the fur of the Fur Tribe, the fins and webbed feet of the Fish Man Tribe. None of them escaped the, kindness, of this curious baby. The purpose was very simple, just to help them become like normal humans. So she wanted to help the long arm tribe remove the, extra, joints, wanted to compress the, too long, necks of the snake head tribe, and wanted to pluck out the, extra, fur of the fur tribe. If I er hadn't stopped it in time, I'm afraid that half of them would be lucky to survive. After much persuasion, the girl completely gave up the idea of, transforming, others. Hello. I'm Oz. Looking down at the friends of different races in the dream house, who were all very friendly. Oz smiled happily and greeted everyone happily. Iyer and the others really didn't lie to him. They really took in so many friends of different races. And everyone can live happily together. Iyer, I've been out for a while this time. 
I have to go back to Ayurbap with Helding. Gerd ran to Ayur and said with a smile, Do you want to join us? It's much more fun to follow Ayur on adventures these days than to stay in Ayurbap. Although it's a bit hard to train with Ayur every day. But she naturally knows that Ayur is doing it for their own good. That's why he detained them for training. Just go back and say hello to the two adults, Mountain Beard and Waterfall Beard, for me. I'll bring good wine to visit them in Ayurbap next time. Be careful. Ayur smiled and nodded. Of course, he is not unkind. After all, Gerd and Helding are still children. It is normal to miss your family after being away from home for a long time. Gah, it won't take too long, we will be back soon, Ayur boss. Halding also smiled there. Linlin, -lin, I will bring you something delicious. Gerd winked at Linlin. -lin. Delicious. Thank you so much, Gerd. I want to eat Samra. Linlin's -lin eyes lit up and her mouth was watering. Ayur Bafu's delicious Samra. She still remembers it. Okay. Soon, under the gaze of everyone. Gerd and Helding both jumped onto the back of Thundercloud Zeus. They rushed towards Ayur Baf. Goodbye. Dot dot dot. Moss, come here. He sat casually on a swinging swing. He watched everyone quickly become friends with Little Oz, playing and laughing on the carousel. After taking out the ability of the bird bird fruit, ancient species, pseudo-toothed bird form, Ayur shouted directly to Moss, who was a lion fur tribe. Ayur boss. Moss, a lion fur tribe boy who just turned 10, ran over. He scratched his head there and asked curiously, what's the matter? Do you still recognize this? Ayur threw the bird bird fruit to the other party and asked with a smile. E.H. Isn't this the fruit I picked up? He caught the fruit with strange patterns. After careful observation, Moss widened his eyes and said in surprise, the nun said it was poisonous and could not be eaten, so she threw it away directly. Yes, Ayur learned from Carmelo's memory. This devil fruit was found by Moss and his friends in the lamb's house when they ran to the forest to play. As a result, he was deceived by her in a few words. That was Carmelo who lied to you. Ayur said directly, this is the devil fruit known as the secret treasure of the sea. This is the ability of the bird bird fruit ancient species pseudo-toothed bird form. If it is directly auctioned, it will be worth at least hundreds of millions of baileys. What? Is this the devil fruit? I also remember that the nun said that this fruit was poisonous at the beginning, and asked us to give it to her if we find similar fruits again, and not to eat it randomly. The children of the dream house. All looked at the strange fruit in shock. Unexpectedly, this is the legendary devil fruit, and eating it can gain magical abilities. Ayur, Linlin, Gerd, Hilding, and Longbread are all demon fruit power. None. Human traffickers. Finding out that they were deceived. Moss, Jane, Locke, and others all gnashed their teeth and cursed. Since you found it, it means that this fruit chose you. Ayur smiled and said to Moss, then return it to its original owner, and you eat it. As a fur tribe, Moss, who has the wild power of a beast, has a very strong fighting talent. Among all the children, his progress in practicing the, six styles, is extremely fast, and his qualifications and understanding are the highest. Even in a short period of time, the ten-year-old Moss has already surpassed others and mastered the, shave, in the six styles first. It can be imagined that in the future, when he masters the electric shock skills of the fur tribe, the moon lion transformation unique to the fur tribe, and the ability of the bird bird fruit ancient species pseudo tooth bird form. It is equivalent to a low-profile mythical beast griffin form ability user. In other words, it is not half as good as the ordinary mythical beast great path form, horse horse fruit mythical beast pegasus form and other mythical beast human human fruit ability. Moreover, in terms of flying ability. The flying ability of the ancient species pseudo toothed bird form. Although it is not the only one, it is also among the best. E.H. Give it to me. Moss was stunned. I didn't expect Ayur to give this fruit to me. Seeing this, although others were a little envious, no one obviously objected. Because, if Sister Carmelo hadn't deceived Moss, he would have eaten this fruit long ago. Aren't you jealous of me and Linlin for being able to fly? Touching Moss's head, Ayur said with a smile, Eat it, and you will become a giant ancient pseudo tooth bird, and you can fly freely in the air. However, after becoming a capable person, 
you must not live up to its ability, and you must work harder to practice. Yes, boss I err. Grabbing the devil fruit. Moss was full of excitement, his face flushed, and he said excitedly, I will work hard. Without saying anything, I couldn't wait to bite it. Ah, his face turned purple, and he retched there, it's so disgusting. Ha ha. Cry. A cry. In the surprised eyes of everyone in the dream house. Moss, a lion fur tribe, suddenly grew larger at a speed visible to the naked eye. His hands turned into wings, and the whole person turned into an ancient pseudo-tooth bird that looked like a seagull, but with an amazing body and sharp teeth. Woohoo! The huge wings flapped suddenly. With the fierce wind pressure, Moss, who turned into a pseudo-tooth bird, flapped his wings there. Great! It really flew up. Moss shouted in surprise. He rushed into the sky at an amazing speed. Instinctively, he spread his huge wings, gliding and circling back and forth. It looks good. Iyer nodded slightly. If their team can develop a special drug similar to the blue wave ball in the future that can change the wavelength of the zone devil fruit ability, it will be even more perfect. His hands turned into wings. After all, it is not as good as wings growing directly on the back. That way, while maintaining the ability to fly, both hands can be freed up to perform physical or sword skills against the enemy, which is undoubtedly more convenient. Maybe, Vegapunk can be tricked by then. Let this world's number one genius scientist make a drug that can affect the wavelength of Zone's ability to transform. If it doesn't work, use force. Anyway, Iyer doesn't intend to give such a talent to the world government. If he can't be used by him by then, then wait until he develops the bloodline factor and artificial devil fruit technology to maximize the value of the other party. Just send him off. However, Vegapunk, who is three years younger than Charlotte Linlin, -Lin, is probably still a little kid wearing open crotch pants. Wait until he grows up, and then go to this guy's hometown, Bakamoya, to find him. Okay, everyone. Iyer clapped his hands. Looking around at the friends in the dream house, he said loudly, stop gathering around, and train well. Bread, you are responsible for supervision. If anyone is lazy, they will train all night until dawn, and they are not allowed to eat dinner. Yes, Master I err. Hearing I err's strict order. Not only the children in the dream house, but also Lin Lin. One by one, they rushed to the training ground on the coast and started training in an orderly manner. Ah. Little Oz scratched his head. I err, what about me? Didn't I teach you the practice methods of the six styles in the past three days? I err, who was about to practice the, six styles, smiled and said, just train according to that. Innate talent. Coupled with an overly strong physique. He also read the relevant memories of the CP0 senior agent. He obtained a lot of experience and corresponding experience that the other party had been studying on the six styles over the years. He didn't have to spend too much time studying, and he had already mastered most of the six styles easily. In the past three days, Iyer took time out every day on the way back to teach Little Oz the practice of the six styles. With the huge advantage brought by the Paramesha mini fruit, Little Oz, as a huge ancient giant, has greatly reduced his size. The compressed body has become more resilient, not only powerful, but also amazingly fast. After Iyer's repeated explanations and teachings, even personal demonstrations, the somewhat dull Little Oz barely mastered, shave. It was that exaggerated power that almost disintegrated the boat. Is it this? Little Oz stomped his feet hard. Boom. The earth cracked. His figure shrunk to two meters. Instantly turned into a residual image and disappeared from the original place. Appeared more than ten meters away. Finger pistol. At the same time, his green right index finger stretched out. Like a bullet, it pierced the tree trunk in front of him. Boom. With a loud bang. The whole tree was broken. Lin Lin, Locke, Jane and others who were training looked sideways. Although many people had already seen the inhuman strength displayed by I Err, Lin Lin and others. But seeing the performance of Little Oz, they still couldn't help but be a little surprised. Quote dot 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 quote. I Err's mouth twitched. This is not the, finger pistol, in the six styles at all, but a miracle with great force. The tree was directly broken in half. Look. The power should be restrained, and try not to crush the ground, so as not to over-disperse your own power and rush out at a faster speed. Iyer demonstrated it personally. 
In an instant, the foot stomped hard. It turned into a shadow and appeared in front of Little Oz. When you are proficient to this level, you can be considered to have mastered the shave perfectly. And, finger pistol is like this. He stomped his foot. The tree that was broken in half grew up again. Iyer's right hand was as fast as lightning, and his index finger shot out like a bullet. Kai. Kai. In little Oz's surprised eyes, a big black hole appeared on the huge tree trunk, but it did not hurt other parts of the tree. It's not that you have to be so restrained. Piercing through the target's vital points can certainly kill the enemy. At the same time, relying on powerful strength, crushing the target directly into a meat paste can also kill the enemy. The purpose of physical skills and techniques is to quickly kill the enemy. There is no so-called high or low distinction, everyone has their own fighting style. But there is no doubt that a more perfect grasp of one's own strength will inevitably be able to exert a stronger fighting power in battle, save physical strength to the greatest extent, and take a greater initiative. Just like Iurur, the reason why he spent time learning the six styles. Instead of investing more time in swordsmanship training, it was just to be able to fully tap his potential, master the muscles of every part of the body as much as possible, and to understand and master the mystery of life return as soon as possible. Moonwalk. Pa, pa. Iyer stepped on the ground. Accompanied by bursts of smoke. There were no wings behind him. His little giant-like figure stepped on the air and soared into the air. It was a bit shocking. You are a person with special abilities. Apart from the more practical shaving and moonwalk, you can learn whatever other physical skills you like. You don't have to master all six styles. I can also teach you the corresponding swordsmanship. Iyer landed steadily on the ground and said with a smile, however, I think your fruit ability may be more suitable for another way of using finger pistol. You only need to shrink your body to the smallest size during the battle, and then imitate the skills of finger pistol, and rush over like a bullet at the fastest speed. Just use the ultimate speed to smash through the opponent's head or body like a bullet. Or you can drill directly into the enemy's body, then remove the ability of the mini fruit, restore your huge body, keep growing, and burst him alive. Although the ancient giants are stupid and have poor comprehension. But at least the racial advantage is there, and little Oz is very obedient and will not be lazy. Diligence can make up for shortcomings, as long as this guy trains hard. There is still a lot to do in the future. Night. Training is over. Enjoy a delicious dinner with the members of Dream House. Iur, who was resting there, called Long Bread. Lord Iur, why did you call me? Looking at Iur leaning against the tree, Long Bread was a little curious. You have been hanging out in New World for so many years. You should know a lot about the underground black market and those auction houses in New World, right? Looking at this chef with rich sailing experience, Iur asked directly. Although they have attracted the attention of Marine, the Fallen Angel Pirates are still in the dormant period of accumulating strength. In the short term, they are not ready to show their fangs directly to the outside world and compete for the hegemony of the sea. But he might as well start some layout. Of course I know something. I am familiar with the black markets of many islands and those auction houses, and I still have life cards. Long Bread patted his chest and said confidently. You should already know the ability of my mythical beast species Quetzalcoatl form. In the next few years, we are not in a hurry to rob everywhere under the banner of fallen angels, occupy territory, establish a pirate country, etc. Ior looked at Long Bread and said directly, At present, the most important thing for our team is to accumulate strength first. You should understand this, right? Of course I understand. Long Bread nodded in agreement. He knew very well that this adult had great ambitions, and was thoughtful and wise. He was completely different from ordinary pirates, and he could not be treated as an ordinary child. At present, what the fallen angel pirates need most is to accumulate strength, or to be more direct, it is to wait for this ir adult to really grow up. Others are secondary. This is one, but we can't just bury our heads in hard work and do nothing. Iyer nodded with satisfaction and said bluntly, some advanced layout and preparation are still necessary. Iyer adult, what do you mean? Hearing Iyer say this. Long Bread's eyes lit up. Looking at Iyer with a fiery gaze, he became a little excited. Robbery and the like are not a long-term solution after all, and most of them are one-time businesses. 
Iyer folded his arms and said, the initial plan is to find some deserted islands in the calm belt for development, build some large plantations, first cultivate some economic crops such as grains, vegetables, and precious medicinal materials, and prepare to establish a chamber of commerce to be responsible for external sales. In the shortest time, monopolize the grain and medicinal materials business of New World, continuously export and expand influence. For the next plan, accumulate enough financial resources and resources, and make preliminary preparations for the real action in the future, recruit troops and horses, occupy territory and establish a country. Originally, his business plan would not be so fast. But Gerd has mastered the ability of the soul soul fruit more and more handy. He can easily harvest other people's souls and create various homies creatures. Even as long as he can harvest enough souls, even creating a sea king's homies core is estimated to be no problem. He thinks he can push it faster directly. It's not just the food and medicine business. If we can really build a sea king's homies core, we may also consider entering the shipping industry. But there is no rush for now, just take it step by step. If we take too big a step at once, it is easy to get into trouble. Tomorrow, you will take Oz and the others, as well as some treasures, to the black market to buy some slaves and a lot of crop seeds. Iyer patted Longbread's shoulder and said directly, if there are no crop seeds, it's okay to buy the finished plants or even branches directly, but they must be the kind that can preserve vitality, not completely dry and dead. Is there any problem? The ability of the mythical beast species Quetzalcoatl form to control plants. It can completely make the plants or branches of those economic crops revitalize, bloom and bear fruit in the shortest time, and even reproduce by division. It doesn't have to be seeds. Yes, please rest assured, I promise to do it beautifully. I er meant. There is no doubt that he has unconditional trust in him. There is no fear that he will run away with the treasure or betray the other party. This naturally made long bread full of excitement, and he patted his chest and promised. For slaves, not only young and strong laborers, but also management talents are needed. It's okay to be older, as long as they are experienced. If you want to form a chamber of commerce. Naturally, it needs to be separated from the fallen angel pirates. At least before he really starts to step out from behind the scenes and establish a pirate country to confront the world government, the relationship between the two cannot be directly exposed. Moreover, a large number of peripheral personnel are also needed to serve as the guards and facade of the Chamber of Commerce. It is impossible that all trivial matters need to be personally handled by the fallen angel pirates hidden behind the scenes. It is still necessary to buy a batch of slaves first. These slaves have experienced despair and have no hope for the future. A little favor can make them grateful and serve wholeheartedly. Of course, humans are complex intelligent creatures, and there must be some ungrateful and ill-intentioned guys, but in front of his observation hockey who can easily read people's hearts. These are not a problem, it is easy to slowly eliminate those guys with impure minds and insufficient loyalty. By the way, if you meet a kid with good potential, you can also buy it back. Said. Thought of something. I er added there, if there is a devil fruit auction, buy it at any price. For the current team, treasures are secondary. In addition to recruiting as many talents as possible, the main thing is to collect devil fruit as much as possible to improve the strength of those members of the dream house. In short, in his plan, the fallen angel pirates will not make any big moves in the next few years, and the chamber of commerce can develop slowly. But the influence must at least spread to every corner of the new world, and then gradually expand the influence to the first half of the grand line in the four seas. Yes. Long Bread asked excitedly. Then Lord I er, what is the name of the Chamber of Commerce going to be? Let's call it the Hell Chamber of Commerce. You also have a good talent in art, so the logo of the Chamber of Commerce will be left to you to design. I er shrugged, got up and left. As a top-notch chef, Long Bread's artistic talent is naturally not bad. Otherwise, it would be impossible to design a variety of exquisite dishes and snacks. These don't need to be worried about by him, the boss. Just leave it to the other party. No problem, then leave it to me. Ho ho ho. Time flies. Eight years have passed in a flash. Located in the second half of New World, Calm Belt. A deserted island full of potholes and a bit messy. 
99,885, 99,886, 99,887. A tall figure with bare upper body and sweating profusely was standing upside down there, rising and falling constantly. He was like a little giant, no less than 9 meters tall, with gray and white hair, handsome features, and a firm look between his eyebrows. The muscular lines of his body were tense, and under the background of sweat and sunlight, they looked shiny and full of unimaginable explosive power. Behind him, there were black wings, like the legendary fallen angel. Behind his head, there was a mysterious flame. It was burning fiercely. Tisk tisk, I er boss, you are so amazing. What surprised people was that. Above his legs, there was a huge round iron wall that was no less than several meters thick, or in other words, it was a huge round shield that was cast from molten iron. On it sat a bloated figure that was no less than 10 meters tall. Iyer's palms pressed down the huge steel plates that were no less than half a meter thick, and they sank deeply into the wall. Even the rocky ground was overwhelmed and had shocking cracks. It can be seen how exaggerated the weight he was bearing was at this moment. This is my limit. The somewhat fat, rough-looking young giant sat there steadily. Grabbing a huge piece of barbecue, biting it, exclaiming in disbelief, if the ton-crushing fruit is not awakened, the maximum weight can be adjusted to tens of thousands of tons, and it can't crush you. His name is Basquit. He is not from Iyer Buff, but a young giant from West Blue. A few years ago, he was caught by a human capture team while traveling at sea and auctioned as a slave. However, under Iyer's control behind the scenes, the Hell Chamber of Commerce, which has gradually developed and gained momentum, bought him from the slave auction at a high price. At Iyer's invitation, he joined the fallen angel pirates to repay his gratitude. Later, he was given the ability of the Paramesha ton crushing fruit purchased from the black market. He was often called by Iyer to act as a super dumbbell and conduct ultra high intensity weight training. Iyer, er, come on. Not far away, a giant girl with green hair, who was much taller than a normal human, about 8 or 9 meters tall, was sitting there bored. She grabbed a huge apple and took a bite. Looking at the tall figure who was holding the giant youth upside down and constantly rising and falling, she cheered and encouraged, it will be 100,000 times soon. At the same time, she squeezed the young giant rudely, wit, you are too useless. Who just vowed to crush I er? You can't blame me for this. It's really the power of Boss Iyer. It's too exaggerated. Sitting on a thick round shield, Wit, who has become Iyer's exclusive tool for weight training, said helplessly, it's more exaggerated than the ancient giants. Lily, stop talking nonsense there. Not far away. Holding a long-handled sickle. Gerd has grown into a beautiful girl, looking heroic. She is over 12 meters tall, and is accompanied by two great homies, Thundercloud Zeus and Sun Prometheus. She strode over, knocked on the other's head, and said unhappily, don't disturb Iyer's training. You, Sister Gerd, don't knock on my head. The giant girl called Lily covered her red forehead and made a face at Gerd. Iyer, you won't mind. Her name is Lily Ernst Mark, and she just turned 15 this year. Two years ago, when she was young, she followed her father Pans Fry, who left the giant tribe, back to Iyer Bafu, and she is also Gerd's cousin. After pestering Gerd to come to the dream house to play, she stayed here, and every day she wanted to join the fallen angel pirates. After asking for the opinion of her father Pans Fry, Iyer agreed to Lily's joining. 99,997, 99,998, 99,999. Standing upside down for a long time, Iyer, sweating profusely, with a slightly congested face. He took a long breath and completed 100,000 handstand weightliftings. Huh. 100,000. It's okay, way. He said, panting slightly. If it was just an ordinary giant, that little weight would be easy for him as a natural monster. But Wit, a giant who had just reached adulthood, was also the user of the Paramesha ton crushing fruit, and he directly adjusted his weight to tens of thousands of tons. If it were someone else, even a giant warrior with huge body and amazing strength would be crushed directly. For him, it was not that difficult, and he could even easily throw the opponent away. But lifting weights in a handstand for 100,000 times would naturally not be too easy. Okay, I er boss. Wit adjusted his own weight instantly. 
With his huge body, he directly grabbed the giant shield under his seat like an iron wall. The whole person seemed to be weightless and, floated up. Flying not far away. Iyer pressed lightly with both palms. With a beautiful backflip, the young figure like a little giant stood there steadily. The imposing manner was like a human-shaped prehistoric beast. Just facing it, people couldn't help but feel a little numb on their scalps and couldn't despise it. This level of training. For a natural monster like him, it can only be regarded as a warm-up, which is nothing at all. Over the years, he has gone to the red line for training countless times. Not only to practice his own swordsmanship, but also to treat the indestructible red rock wall as a huge sandbag. Continuously training his body, honing his physical skills in hockey, leaving one shocking and extremely exaggerated eye pit after another there. For ordinary people, that level of crazy training is unimaginable. Enough to subvert their cognition. Shave. Suddenly. Gerd 230 stomped his feet hard. His huge figure turned into a shadow and rushed up like lightning. The extremely sharp sickle flashed with a bright cold light. It was powerful and swift. He chopped at Iyer fiercely. Oh. As if he had predicted the future. Iyer tilted his head slightly and easily dodged Gerd's attack. Kang. Just a light touch, a flick of the finger. The sickle that Gerd was holding tightly trembled. It almost slipped out of his hand. Seeing this. Zeus and Prometheus. They turned into a demonic fighting form and were about to come up to help. You don't have to do anything. It's not over yet. Gerd took a few steps back. He refused the help of the two homies. His eyes were stern, staring at I Ur's figure with black wings on his back, like a fallen angel. He held the long handle in the cold light of the sickle. He waved it out brazenly, Shinigami kiss. Swish, a blazing slash broke through the air. But Iyur looked calm and raised his right hand slightly. He didn't dodge or evade, but swung his hand back. Bang. The next moment. A huge slash. He was directly hit by the back of his hand and flew away. Boom boom. The momentum did not decrease, and it blasted straight to the distant land, raising a large cloud of dust. Leaving behind a shocking huge slash mark. It was jaw-dropping. The slash, was blown away. Toy. Not far away. Lily and Wit, who witnessed this scene, both widened their eyes and were a little stunned. I never thought that Iyer would actually blow away such an exaggerated slash with his bare hands. It's unbelievable. This invulnerable body is really exaggerated. Gerd couldn't help but twitch his mouth. She finally mastered the flying slash. Even those powerful giant warriors may not be able to block it. The opponent actually backhanded it and directly slapped it away. And he was unscathed, not even a trace of shallow scars. The soul soul fruit is really a panacea. Looking at Gerd, who was holding a long-handled sickle and looking heroic. Iyer raised his eyebrows and smiled. I didn't expect that Gerd, not only did you master the six styles perfectly, but you can also easily perform this level of flying slashing so quickly. Normally. Giants are so huge. It's not that easy to master the six styles. So. He basically doesn't ask giants to learn the six styles. But Gerd is very special. Different from other giant warriors. Because she is the ability user of the Paramesha Soul Soul Fruit. At Iyer's suggestion, she tried to inject the plundered souls into her muscles, nerves and other tissues and organs. Not only did she easily master the alternative life return, but she could also easily heal her own injuries. Even when she was resting, she could let them continue to exercise and strengthen themselves. As long as she constantly replenishes energy and makes up for physical exhaustion, it is equivalent to constantly tempering her own body all the time. Practicing can be said to be twice the result with half the effort. It is equivalent to several times more practice time than others. In the past eight years, Gerd's strength has improved by leaps and bounds. Her physical strength is far superior to those experienced adult giant kings. Even the six styles that are difficult for giants to master, she easily mastered them with her long-term unremitting, efforts. Even the two adults, Mountain Beard and Waterfall Beard, said that she has a good chance of mastering the long spear skills that the Iyer Bafu giants are proud of, just like Iyer. In Iyer's words, you are already a mature cell, you have to learn to train yourself. This bug ability can be called a training cheat. But Lin Lin, Hyarding and others envy it. Hee <laughs> hee, I also learned a new move not long ago. 
Gerd held his head high. He showed a proud smile. But then he felt helpless and pouted. It's a pity that I still couldn't force you, a monster, to take a step back. This is also the most powerless part for her. No matter how hard she tries, it seems that she can never catch up with Iur. I can only look up at her back. Or rather, let alone Iur. Even Lin Lin, who is a natural monster like her, can easily defeat her. This is a big blow to Gerd. Work hard, there will be a chance. Iur smiled. Touching Gerd's head, comforting him. HMPH, stop lying, I'm not a child. Gerd puffed his cheeks, but narrowed his eyes and raised the corners of his mouth slightly. He obviously enjoyed Iur's closeness. Sister Gerd, you are really amazing. At this time, Lily, a green-haired giant girl, ran up. Looking at Gerd, she was full of admiration. You can actually make such a powerful slash. Don't think that Gerd can't shake Iur at all. His strength doesn't seem to be anything great. But it depends on who he is compared with. This Iur, Oni Chan, is a real natural monster. Even if he doesn't use the ability of the Soul Soul Fruit, Gerd just showed his skills. Just the agile speed and powerful strength alone are definitely better than more than 90% of the giant warriors. Tisk tisk, Gerd, you are getting stronger and stronger. Looking at this high spirited giant girl, Wit also felt a little inexplicable. When I just joined the Fallen Angel Pirates, if I didn't use the fruit power, you were not my opponent at all. At the beginning, as a giant warrior who has just come of age, if Gerd doesn't borrow the power of the Soul Soul Fruit and doesn't let Zeus, Prometheus and other homies join the battle. His strength is not comparable to Gerd, who is still a minor, and as a female giant, theoretically her natural strength is much inferior to that of male giants. But now, even if he doesn't fight with homies, the opponent can easily suppress him. No, no, it's still a long way off. Being praised by Lily and Wit, two giants, Gerd was a little embarrassed and acted more modestly. But on her beautiful face, she was smiling and obviously very happy. The slight loss in my heart just now was dispelled without knowing it. She really didn't have to compete with Iur and Linlin, -Lin, two inhuman monsters. As long as she worked hard to become stronger than others, she could contribute to Iur's great dream and play her role. Just don't hold her back. Hee <laughs> hee, Sister Gerd. When I grow up, if we merge, we will definitely be invincible. Lily said excitedly, holding Gerd's hand. Then you have to work hard. Gerd touched Lily's head and smiled. A year ago, the Hell Chamber of Commerce purchased a devil fruit from the black market that was not very useful to others and was relatively useless. Paramesha Chaos Fruit. After repeated consideration, it was given to Lily by Iur. No other reason, just because this fruit is very special. Different from Paramesha Fusion Fruit. The fusion fruit can decompose any non-living objects it touches, rearrange them, and even directly merge them with the ability user. The Paramesha Chaos Fruit is just the opposite. It is only effective for living things. It is more of an auxiliary type and cannot directly fuse objects such as steel, stone, and weapons like the fusion fruit to enhance the combat power of the ability user. But it can allow different life forms to merge with itself. So as to exert a stronger combat power. And it is worth mentioning. It also works on ability users. It can allow multiple ability users to merge temporarily. During the fusion period, multiple devil fruit abilities can be used. Although homies are the product of devil fruit, they are also special life forms strictly speaking. As long as Lily, the ability user of the chaos fruit, is willing, she can even merge with the homies created by Gerd. In particular, Iur specially tamed a powerful raptor from the calm belt for her. So that she can directly partner with the raptor. To exert a strong combat power. By the way, Iur. At the coast. She brought the towel to Iur, who was sweating profusely. Gerd, who was young, beautiful and well-groomed, looked at the tall and handsome boy in front of her with big eyes and said with a smile, there is news from the Hell Chamber of Commerce. It seems that a grand slave auction will be held in Sabayati Archipelago in the first half of the Grand Line. She came here specially. Just to tell Iur this news. Because, the fallen angel pirates have been collecting a large number of devil fruits over the years. They also often buy a large number of slaves of various races from the slave auction house and spare no effort to train them. E.H. Auction. Hearing this, the two giants, Wit and Lily, 
who were not far away, were both a little surprised. However, although they wanted to join in the fun, they naturally knew that as giants, they were not suitable to go to such occasions. Especially, now the relationship between the giants and the world government has deteriorated and it has become quite stalemate. If they go to Sabayati Archipelago, it will easily cause trouble. Oh. Any special devil fruit. Take the towel. Iyer asked with a smile. In the past few years, with the development of the Hell Chamber of Commerce. It has been buying various devil fruits that appear in the black market or major auction houses with heavy money. He doesn't care much about slaves. At present, the Hell Chamber of Commerce is not short of people. Yes, it is said that there will be two devil fruits to be auctioned this time. Gerd said with a smile. Although they are not Logia or rare mythical beasts, they all have good abilities. However, this auction may attract celestial dragons at that time. She spread her hands and said helplessly. You know that most of those guys are arrogant, arrogant, and domineering. We are not short of money, and we can compete with them in terms of financial resources. But if we lose their face at the auction, it may cause a lot of trouble to the Hell Chamber of Commerce. Quote. It is worth mentioning that. Five years ago, their location of Dreamland near Iyer Barf was exposed. They were found by the CP agents of the world government and were surrounded by the Marine Fleet, led by the Admiral of Headquarters himself. However, with the Katsuyu homies warning made by Gerd, Iyer was prepared in advance and did not confront Marine head-on. He decisively evacuated everyone in Dream House, leaving Marine empty-handed. Afterwards, Iyer took everyone directly to a deserted island in the Calm Belt. He rebuilt a new Dreamland. Although he took everyone to practice in the Calm Belt. But Dream House was not completely isolated from the outside world, and still paid attention to the changes in the situation outside. Especially in the past few years. They are not just practicing and doing nothing. Even though the Fallen Angel Pirates are not well known at present, they have not really begun to show their fangs to the outside world. However, Iyer has already started some layouts in advance. Not only did they send a large number of homies flying animals created by Gerd, but they also found several islands in the Calm Belt one after another. Develop them, and transform them into large plantations. More directly through Long Bread, a large number of slaves auctioned from the underground black market of New World were bought, and the Hell Chamber of Commerce was established. Various economic crop seeds such as grains, fruits and vegetables, and precious medicinal materials were bought. On weekdays, some soul-infused homies creatures are responsible for taking care of them. When Iyer is free, he uses his own ability of the mythical beast species Quetzalcoatl form. Make them grow and mature quickly. Harvest repeatedly and sell them in large quantities. A Sea King's homies corps was created to escort the fleet of the Hell Chamber of Commerce. Ensure that they can freely enter and exit the Calm Belt without being attacked by large Sea Kings. Over the years, the influence of the Hell Chamber of Commerce has expanded dramatically. It has long monopolized the food and medicinal materials industry of New World and has become a giant in the underground world. Moreover, with strong financial support, it has also begun to quietly expand its intelligence network to various islands in New World one by one. Even the West Blue and the first half of the Grand Line, which are the closest and only separated by the Calm Belt, have already established branches of the Chamber of Commerce. Such a lucrative industry that makes a fortune every day. Of course, it is not that no one has tried to take over the Hell Chamber of Commerce. But the end is often tragic. Those gangsters, pirate captains. Not long after, their leaders have become corpses. Moreover, the death is horrifying and makes people's scalps numb. It completely shocked those greedy people who were ready to move. Over time, the banner of the Hell Chamber of Commerce was completely established. In the past few years, Iyer has also purchased some devil fruit from the black market at a high price through the Hell Chamber of Commerce to cultivate those members of the Dream House who have gradually grown up and started to join the Fallen Angel Pirates. Many people have become ability users one after another. Those with good strength are allowed to join the Fallen Angel Pirates. For those with weaker strength, they will be trained in other aspects such as management and government affairs, and sent directly to the Hell Chamber of Commerce for training. Whether it is the young giant Basque Waishi who was once captured by the human slave hunting team and auctioned as a slave. Or the giant girl Lily Scottmark. They were all given the ability of the fruit by Iyer. 
they became ability users. Then I'll go there in person. I er wiped the sweat off his face and sneered. At worst, let them take the photo first, and then directly snatch it, and you can save some money. After lying dormant for so long, it's almost time to step forward. He twisted his wrist. The corners of his mouth rose, and his eyes revealed strong confidence. Over the years, he has been training his body day and night, practicing swordsmanship and training his conqueror's hockey, and deeply developing his own fruit ability. He is a natural monster and has the blood of the Lunaria tribe. His strength is no longer what it used to be. To this day, even if he faces the Admiral of Headquarters, he is confident and not afraid at all. There may be people he cannot defeat on this sea, but there may not be people who can kill Kukulkanir directly. The overall strength of the fallen angel pirates has also undergone earth-shaking changes. They are no longer the two or three kittens of the past. There is no need to be too low-key. That's really exciting. Hearing Iyer say this. Gerd's eyes lit up and said happily. Under Iyer's guidance, after several years of hard training, she has been constantly strengthening her body and developing the ability of the soul soul fruit. She can't wait to show her skills. I heard that this auction is quite special. Not only will there be young female mermaids to be auctioned, but there will also be a three-eyed slave who is almost extinct in the sea. Hem. I err, who didn't care much at first, couldn't help but shrink her pupils, three-eyed. I knew you would be interested. Gerd lifted her hair and winked playfully. I have asked someone to find out, it's a young and beautiful girl. K-R-O-F. I err laughed in silence. He reached out and flicked her forehead. He never concealed his romantic personality. Loyal to one person. One life and one couple. That's impossible. He was responsible for reviving the Lunaria tribe and expanding the tribe that was already on the verge of extinction. In order to revive the prosperity and glory of the God clan in the past, sometimes it was necessary to make sacrifices. Especially those young and beautiful women with special racial bloodlines. They really attracted his interest. As for the size difference. That was not a problem at all. In the past few years, his persistent study of life was not in vain. You always hit me on the head. He covered his forehead in grievance. Thinking of something, Gerd said to Iyer happily, Hee hee, I almost forgot to tell you that the materials you asked for earlier have been prepared by time. This is the Hell Chamber of Commerce that spent a lot of money and manpower to purchase from all over the world through the black market. All kinds of rare ores are available. I believe that it will definitely be able to create a peerless magic weapon that suits your heart, I err. Tyne is the long-handed young man in the dream house. Now the other party has grown up and become a passionate young man. But this guy doesn't like fighting and killing, but likes business, and is quite talented in this aspect. Two years ago, I err sent him to the Hell Chamber of Commerce for training, and he was just appointed as the head of the Chamber of Commerce in the New World area half a year ago. Oh. Are all the materials ready? Iyer smiled. In the past few years, he has deliberately spent a lot of time. In Erbif, he devoted himself to learning the forging skills, and read the memories of one swordsmith after another, constantly studying, 900. In addition to the training that was regarded as the top priority and could not be easily put down, a considerable part of his time and energy was invested in learning the skills of forging weapons. With his unique talent in this area, he has already become a real swordsmith. Yes. When are you going to start forging? Gerd smiled. She knew very well that in the past few years, Iyer often went to Erbif in his spare time to learn the forging skills from the experienced swordsmiths in the giant tribe. Moreover, the other party really has a very high talent in this area. Even the swordsmith Old Jack, who is very famous in Erbif in the giant pirates, said that Iyer had already mastered all his skills and was better than his master. Over the years, Iyer also specially instructed the Hell Chamber of Commerce to collect various rare and precious ores at a high price. I have been preparing to forge a, supreme sword, or, the best sword, level giant soldier for myself. Whether it is the giant shield with exquisite patterns on which side, which is indestructible and can be used with the ability of Paramesha Tun Crush Fruit to easily crush the target into meat paste. Or the Shinigami Sickle in her hand, or the Big Saber name, Napoleon, by Linlin, Lin, all of them were made by Iyer himself. Since the Hell Chamber of Commerce is not short of money, it can easily buy a large amount of precious ores. 
The casting materials are all top grade, coupled with Iur's excellent skills, the quality of these weapons is beyond imagination, and is not inferior to the level of the sword. So even Gerd can't help but look forward to it. What kind of magic weapon can the other party forge next? Don't worry. Next, I have to go to Wanokuni. Iur waved his hand. Before really starting the furnace to cast the weapon, he planned to go to Wanokuni. If I remember correctly, the famous swordsmith Shimotsuki Kozaburo from Wanokuni was able to create the demon sword Yanma that could release and amplify the user's hockey autonomously. He was quite interested in the incredible characteristics of this demon sword. Ah. Boss I err, it's bad. Just then. In the distant sky. A huge and swift figure flapped its wings. It was similar to the ancient pseudo-toothed bird. It's moss. I err's eyes were stern. A flash of red light flashed in his eyes. Over the years, the observation hockey has been trained to be extremely powerful and its range is getting more and more exaggerated. Even at a distance of several kilometers, it can instantly lock it and understand the other party's thoughts. Huh. Lin Lin, is making trouble again. Cry. At the same time, in the sky. A black eagle with an amazing wingspan and a huge body, which is no less ferocious than the pseudo-toothed bird, is circling there. The sharp claws, like steel, gleamed with cold light. It was about to pounce. Stop. Xiao Hei, it's one of us. Lily shouted when she saw this. The huge black eagle was the raptor that Iur had served her. Moreover, in order to allow it to partner with her, the user of the chaos fruit, to exert a stronger combat power. It was also fed with the devil fruit. It was extremely ferocious. Hearing the master's order, the huge black eagle was restrained in its ferocity. A high-pitched cry echoed, and it flapped its wings violently, turned quickly, and changed direction. It circled in the sky and landed on a hillside not far away. A huge pseudo-toothed bird. It landed in front of Iur and others and turned into a human form. It was an adult. After years of high-intensity exercise and rich nutrition, it was extremely sturdy, with golden hair like a lion, and no less than 5 meters of lion fur tribe moss. He was full of anxiety, sweating profusely and shouted to I Ur, Linlin's bulimia has recurred, and it is now making a scene in the dream house. What? Is it coming again? I would rather fight with marine or pirates than face Linlin at this moment. Lily, Wit, Gerd and others all changed their faces. Over the years, Charlotte Linlin's bulimia, has occurred more than once. Because of the opponent's terrifying ability of the fantasy beast vampire form, Every time it goes crazy, it can be said to be terrifying. Many times, it was only Iur who was there and was able to suppress it. Otherwise, the consequences would be disastrous. However, fortunately, under Iur's constant guidance. As he grows older, Linlin's strength is getting stronger and stronger. His willpower has been able to restrain his strong desire for destruction and his extremely bloodthirsty desire under the invisible influence of the fantasy beast vampire form in a short period of time. He doesn't kill people at will, zero. Otherwise, the dream house would have been a river of blood long ago. I'll go and take a look first. You guys follow me. Iyer frowned and said nothing. He pressed his feet and disappeared from the spot like a cannonball. Woo hoo hoo. He flew into the air and flapped his wings directly. He turned into a black stream of light. He rushed to the sky. Caramel Puff Tower, give me Caramel Puff Tower. Not far from the deserted island where Iur was training, in the sea. A beautiful, picturesque, dreamy island is located there. A huge tree that is so big that it is like a pillar supporting the sky, reaching straight into the sky and is unattainable. It has lush branches and leaves, and even the giants can only look up to it, extending in all directions. From a distance, it looks like a huge, umbrella, that protects the island from wind and rain. But at this moment, no one is in the mood to pay attention to this giant tree. On the entire island, a small part of the area is shrouded in blood-colored clouds. A large number of vampire bats are constantly flying around, and from time to time, anthropomorphic homies scream there. A creepy, violent, and somewhat hoarse voice echoed there. Quick, take, Napoleon, away, everyone leave this island quickly. Long bread, prepare a caramel puff tower for me, otherwise I can't control myself. Linlin, -lin, calm down. Sister Linlin, -lin, please don't destroy the dream park. The caramel puff tower will be ready soon. 
Everyone, get ready to board the ship and leave. Moss has gone to find Boss Iyer. I hope it's not too late. Members of the Fallen Angel Pirates. There are also hundreds of Dreamhouse members from all races in the world who have been added over the years. They have all fled far away. Looking at the expanding blood-colored mist. Somewhat panicked, full of worry and anxiety. Uncle Long Bread, is it not ready yet? Locke, a long-legged youth who just turned 17 and was a former member of the Dream House and has officially joined the Fallen Angel Pirates, asked loudly. Jane, a young man from the Fishman tribe, was also there and said anxiously, although Lin Lin can still barely restrain herself now, if she loses control completely, we will all be doomed. In the past few years, even after Lin Lin's bulimia attack, he can maintain his sanity for longer and longer each time. However, if time goes on, Lin Lin has not been able to eat the food she wants. Even if everyone escapes to the sea by boat, it is useless, and the other party will soon go to bed. Once she is a mythical beast vampire form ability user, her mind is completely occupied by the desire for gluttony, and she loses her sanity. The consequences are simply unimaginable. As a fishman, he can naturally escape to the water, and he can also take others with him. But how many people can he save? No, not enough preparation, not enough raw materials. At this time, Bread, wearing a chef's uniform, sweating profusely, ran out of the kitchen. Even he didn't expect that this time, Charlotte Linlin's bulimia would break out so quickly. According to past experience, each bulimia attack should be able to be separated by more than half a year. There are still two or three months left. What? Insufficient materials. Are you kidding? Wait, Uncle Bread, aren't you a user of the Eat Eat Fruit ability? Yes, your ability should be able to transform all the ingredients in the world. Hearing what Bread said, the faces of the members of the Fallen Angel Pirates and the Dream House changed drastically. According to the past, unless the boss Iyer came back in person to suppress Linlin's bulimia attack and knocked her out. Otherwise, if she didn't taste the food she wanted to eat, she would keep destroying it until she ate the food she wanted. Coupled with the ability of the mythical beast species vampire form, she is basically immortal. Once she is completely out of control, all creatures she encounters, whether human or other races, or even the ferocious sea kings, may be sucked dry by her blood, and she will continue to replenish her consumption. Even if she destroys for 10 days and nights without sleep, she will not be exhausted at all. God knows what unpredictable things will happen if no one stops her. The food made by the ability of the fruit is not as good as the food made with those real top-grade ingredients. The anxious long bread wiped the sweat and said helplessly, in the past few years, with the development of the Hell Chamber of Commerce, Linlin -lin has tasted food from all over the world, and her taste buds have become more and more picky. Ordinary caramel puff towers can't satisfy her at all, and can't relieve her food cravings. Where is the caramel puff tower? Hand it over to me. At this moment, accompanied by a sharp roar, a terrifying conqueror's hockey suddenly broke out. Plop, plop. In the dream house, many young children and teenagers of various races with weak strength all rolled their eyes and fainted one after another. Only the original members of the lamb house who have grown up, such as the long-legged clan Locke, the fishman clan John, and the snake-headed clan Barry and other members who were added to the dream house one after another, and were allowed to join the fallen angel pirates after strict screening and good strength. Still maintain consciousness. The current fallen angel pirates have not really expanded. Based on the principle of, better to have less than less, everyone who can join has good strength. Under Iyer's teaching and training, after years of high-intensity practice, most of them have mastered some or all of the six styles, and grandmastered two-color hockey. For a long time, the Hell Chamber of Commerce has been purchasing various devil fruits from all over the world with a lot of money, and a large part of them are used to train these members of the Fallen Angel Pirates. A considerable part of them have already been capable people. The strong ones are not even inferior to the Vice Admiral of the Naval Headquarters. Even the weaker ones can basically match the Commodore of the Naval Headquarters. Naturally, they will not be stunned by the Conqueror's Hockey that Lin Lin just unconsciously exploded. It's Lin Lin's Conqueror's Hockey. Quick, everyone, send all these fainted children to the ship first. This is troublesome, because of their own outstanding strength. And stand out from the many members of the Dream House. 
promoted by I. Er, Locke, Jane and others who are cadres of the fallen angel pirates have a grim look on their faces. But they soon calmed down and commanded others there to rescue the unconscious people and send them to the large warships with the flags of the fallen angel pirates docked on the coast for refuge. This is the top warship built by the shipbuilders recruited by the Hell Chamber of Commerce from all over the world in recent years. And this is only a small part of the warships that have been put into use. In particular, they are all made of the legendary precious tree material, which has extremely strong toughness and hardness, is extremely precious and expensive. It can be said that it is extremely luxurious and enough to make people stunned. However, for the fallen angel pirates, it is not a problem at all, and the cost is not as high as imagined. Because I er had already bought the seeds of the precious tree Adam from the black market at a high price. Moreover, relying on the ability of the mythical beast species Quetzalcoatl form, he spent a lot of time and energy on those deserted islands in the calm belt to cultivate no less than ten of these huge and unattainable precious trees. Originally, each precious tree atom can be said to be unique and different. It is not because its seeds are so rare, or it cannot be divided and propagated, but because its growth cycle is too long, so long that no force is willing to plant and cultivate it. Each precious tree atom has lived for at least thousands of years or even longer. The hundreds of years since the establishment of the world government are nothing to its long life. It can be said that it has witnessed the rise and fall of history, experienced countless ups and downs, and stood firm in wars again and again, making it the name of Treasure Tree Adam. However, for other forces in the outside world, the extremely precious 840 Treasure Tree material. For the fallen angel pirates, it is not worth mentioning, and it can even be sold directly to the outside world. Although due to the age of the tree, the hardness and toughness may be slightly worse than the few treasure trees on the sea that have truly experienced a long period of growth and grown up little by little. But the difference is very small, not a world of difference. It is also a high-quality shipbuilding wood, which is far superior to other woods, and it is extremely difficult to identify, and can even be mistaken for the real thing. Adhering to the principle that things are rare and valuable, the Hell Chamber of Commerce will continue to auction a small amount of treasure tree materials at a price slightly lower than the genuine treasure tree atom every once in a while, making a lot of money. It can be said that it is simply a golden hen that lays eggs. For example, now, the giant tree in the center of this island. It is a treasure tree cultivated from the seeds of the treasure tree atom. With such an exaggerated size, it is necessary to ensure its hardness and toughness as much as possible, which really took Iur a lot of energy. Without affecting his own practice and other daily plans, and without letting it involve too much energy. It took about half a year for each treasure tree to be truly cultivated. In terms of size, it is no less than any treasure tree atom in the world. It is even better than it. Caramel Puff Tower. Where is the Caramel Puff Tower? D.E. On this dream island. Huge footsteps echoed. A slender figure no less than seven meters tall appeared in the bloody lulichen. It turned out to be a girl who was tall, slender and charming, like a little giant. But at this moment, her eyes were glowing with bloodthirsty red light, and her momentum was extremely violent. She stared at everyone fiercely. Quickly bring out the caramel puff tower for me. But soon, she hugged her head hard. Gritting her teeth trying her best to keep herself sensible, she screamed, no, everyone, get out of here. Eight years have passed. The little fat girl of the past has become a slender beautiful girl. Under I Ur's strict training, Lin Lin, who has just turned 13, is now chubby at the age of five. It can be said that she is a completely different person. Master Lin Lin, please calm down. In the air, Thundercloud Hera, created by Gerd and given to Lin Lin as a gift, floated down. He tried to persuade the Lord. Did you hide the Caramel Puff Tower? However, Lin Lin's bloodshot eyes instantly stared at Thundercloud Hera. It made him shiver with cold air. No, it's not me. I really haven't seen the Caramel Puff Tower. Thundercloud Hera hurriedly denied it and ran away like a fugitive, not daring to get close. Because, the crazy Lin Lin didn't care whether it tasted good or not. He would really swallow it directly. And for some reason, the opponent's ability of the mythical beast species vampire form could also directly hurt special highest level homies creatures like it. It caused it great pain. 
even the injuries caused could not be easily recovered. The last time the opponent went crazy, it was torn into several pieces by the out-of-control Lord Linlin. It was almost swallowed as a real marshmallow. Roar. The next moment. Linlin roared. The whole person changed at a speed visible to the naked eye. She turned into a human beast, covered with purple-black fur, with a hideous face and sharp fangs. A pair of eyes, as red as blood-red gems. A pair of devil-like flesh wings emerged from her back. The limbs turned into extremely sharp claws. It was like a demon, extremely weak. It made people shudder. The sound of breaking wind came. A tall figure came swiftly, flapping its wings. Iyer's tall figure landed in front of Linlin. He held her shoulders and looked into her scarlet eyes like gemstones. Linlin, calm down a little bit. Iyer, Oni Chan. Hearing Iyer's voice, Linlin, who was almost out of control, was shocked. His eyes regained a trace of clarity, and his face was a little distorted, as if he was struggling violently. I'm really in pain, I can't control myself anymore. Her face showed pain. Sometimes she gritted her teeth, sometimes she clenched her fists tightly, and her whole body was shaking there, and she blamed herself with red eyes. I'm really sorry, I don't want to be like this, I don't want to hurt anyone at all. But before she finished speaking, her whole expression changed. She broke free from the hands pressing on her shoulders and glared at Iyer fiercely. She was extremely ferocious and punched hard, hand over the caramel puff tower. Bang! The violent energy swept over. Iyer grabbed Linlin's fist with one hand and looked at her expressionlessly. He looked directly at the frantic Linlin and said calmly, There is no more caramel puff tower, I have eaten it. If you want it, then you can cut open my stomach, maybe you can find it. Then cut open your stomach. Lin Lin, with bloodshot eyes and ferocious face, looked like a demon, with bloodthirsty face. Greedily licking the blood-red flaming lips, as if staring at prey, staring at I er in front of him with a sinister smile, caramel puff tower mixed with blood must be delicious. Although I er grabbed his right fist directly and couldn't break free. But he was still very fierce, and kicked up violently with his right foot, full of anger and murderous intent. Sorry, Lin Lin. If your will still can't overcome the desire for gluttony, destruction, and bloodthirstiness, then I can only use slightly rougher means. Iyer's eyes were full of coldness. Before he finished speaking, he suddenly showed the terrifying power that far surpassed Lin Lin, a natural monster. In an instant, before the mad Lin Lin could even touch him. He had already swung her like a rag doll. Slammed her hard to the ground. Quote dot 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 quote. Loud noises continued. The earth cracked. Dust rolled, and rocks flew. Moreover, Iyer didn't just hit her once. Instead, he swung Linlin's whole body, mercilessly swinging left and right repeatedly, with no intention of stopping at all. He didn't worry about beating a natural monster like him to death at all. Linlin. Iyer boss. Big sister Linlin. Gurgle. Lord Iyer, is he going to kill big sister Linlin? Idiot, of course not. Linlin is immortal. Do you think a blow of this magnitude can threaten her? Such a fierce and brutal scene. The members of the fallen angel pirates present, as well as some older and stronger members of the dream house who were not stunned by the previous conqueror's hockey, all felt their scalps tingling and swallowed their saliva. Even though they knew that Linlin Lin had the ability to be immortal. They still felt a little cold. Puff Ling Ling. Suddenly, Linlin Lin exploded. She turned into a large number of bats and bit me. It's useless. Although we are both born monsters, I am far superior to you, Lin Lin, in terms of strength and defense. Iyer looked indifferent. There are also differences between monsters. Just like the extremely rare Logia abilities in Devil Fruit, there are also strong and weak ones. Although compared to ordinary Devil Fruit, Logia are very powerful and have very unsolvable, backquote invincible, abilities. But just like the ordinary Logia abilities of Smoke Fruit, Snow Snow Fruit, Marsh Fruit. No matter what, they can't be compared with the top Logia abilities of Frozen Fruit, Sparkling Fruit, Thunder Fruit. In terms of talent, whether it is physical strength or comprehension. In any aspect, he is not half worse than Lin Lin of the same age, and even better. Apart from other things, Iyer's degree of hard work alone is not comparable to Lin Lin. 
He is a few years older than Lin Lin, and he has already successfully exchanged part of his talent and potential for powerful experience through years of unremitting practice and continuous tempering day after day. After all, the other party is only a 13-year-old girl with some innocence. It is far from being truly grown up. The next moment, I err's back of the head was blazing with flames. In the blink of an eye, the whole body was burning with raging flames. Crackle. The terrifying high temperature directly distorted the atmosphere. Even the ground around was faintly burning and melting. Even the vampire bat that Lin Lin turned into was invulnerable to swords and guns, and was not afraid of ordinary flames at all. But at this moment, the unimaginable high temperature still made her a little hot and unbearable. Manuo Zhao. Swish. A large number of bats gathered, and a bloody red light flashed. Lin Lin's hideous figure was like a ghost. Instantly appeared behind I Er. A large amount of blood gathered. Transformed into bloody spears, shining with a shiny black luster, piercing through. But I Er did not use hockey to defend himself at all, and even did not dodge or evade, allowing them to carry unimaginable power and pierce his body continuously. But these blood spears wrapped with hockey could not shake his indestructible skin, which was tougher than steel. Yes, whether it is the control of ability or hockey, there has been considerable progress. Wei Wei was shocked back a few steps. Ior looked calm, and commented there, but it's not good enough. Shuin. Lin Lin lost his mind and was hysterical. Along with the extremely powerful conqueror's hockey, there were also terrifying sound waves visible to the naked eye, and he shouted there, Caramel Puff Tower 2. Hand it over to me, ah. Seg. S-Y-F. Sigh. Lin Lin screamed hysterically. Waves of sound visible to the naked eye, accompanied by fierce wind pressure, rolled over. In all directions, the ground cracked, and trees, wooden houses, glass, crystal and other objects were all shattered and blown away. That was the special conqueror's hockey that she released after successfully combining the ability of the mythical beast species and vampire form at Iur's suggestion. It was mixed with extremely terrifying ultra-high-frequency ultrasonic waves. The power was unparalleled and unimaginable. Ah. It hurts so much. It's Lin Lin's ability, combined with Conqueror's hockey, to release high-frequency ultrasonic waves. Everyone, get away from this island. No, I can't move anymore. I feel dizzy and my vision is blurry. Sister Lin Lin, stop now. My eardrums are going to explode. Thump, thump. Offshore. The calm belt, which was supposed to be calm, was stirred up by huge waves. Several warships that had not yet left this dream paradise were shaking with the growing wind and waves. Even the large sea kings in the nearby waters were frightened by the terrifying momentum and unimaginable strange sounds and fled in panic. One by one, they took their unconscious companions to the warship for refuge, including members of the dream house, who were originally quite powerful, and even formal members of the fallen angel pirates. At this moment, because the distance was too close, they all covered their ears in pain. And they all knelt there powerlessly, unable to move at all. Those whose strength was below that of the naval headquarters rear admiral. They were completely unable to support themselves. They fainted. Enough is enough. At this moment, I Ur's eyes suddenly became stern. Others would be affected and disturbed by such a terrible conqueror's ultrasonic wave. But a strong man like him was naturally an exception. Buzz, almost the next moment. An incomparable, powerful and trembling conqueror's hockey was released instantly. It directly hit Charlotte Lin Lin, who had lost her mind and kept screaming. And the extremely amazing special conqueror's hockey mixed with ultrasonic screams. They collided with each other. The earth cracked and collapsed. The terrifying air wave rolled over. Countless rocks and plants were blown away. One after another, black and red lightning intertwined and flashed, spreading in all directions. Boom boom. One big and one small, two faint black and red hemispheres appeared there, squeezing and fighting each other. Lin Lin's conqueror's hockey was completely displayed and defeated. The next moment, the two conqueror's hockey disappeared. The members of the fallen angel pirates and the dream house all breathed a sigh of relief. They gasped and sweated. Huh. We're saved. Lin Lin's scream is too scary. Great. Boss Iyer stopped Lin Lin's scream. Quick, drive the boat and get away from this island first. This is not a battle we can intervene in, just leave it to Boss Iyer. Lock, 
Jane, Longbread and others recovered. He was busy giving orders loudly, asking people to start the warship and sail away. If the distance was not so close, and if Linlin's strange sound, which was a mixture of conquerors and fruit ability, was not stopped in time by Iur, it would not have lasted for a short time. I'm afraid that those who are weak among them have already had their eardrums ruptured and their mouths and noses bleeding. Shunpo. Iur stepped on the ground. As fast as lightning, he appeared directly in front of Linlin. Huh, the huge fist print, without wrapping hockey at all, just crushed the atmosphere and swung out like a cannonball. It hit Linlin who was caught off guard. Bang. If she had kept her sanity. Linlin, who had mastered Conqueror's hockey under Iur's instruction over the years, might have been able to dodge or block Iur's simple punch, which was not a full-strength punch. But now she had lost her sanity and could not keep calm at all. Her observation hockey had lost its sensitivity, and Linlin was a little slow. She was completely unable to react and was blown away. Bang bang. The loud noises continued. The smoke and dust rolled up. The big trees wailed and were broken in half. Iyer's terrifying power made her fly like a cannonball. The embarrassed figure flew out of the island and fell into the turbulent sea. But at the moment when she was about to fall to the sea. Puff. She exploded there instantly. She turned into countless bats, flapping their wings continuously. She got rid of the exaggerated power. Flying back towards the island like lightning. Kai. At the same time, a blood-colored mist spread out. Purple-black figures kept flashing and moving. Almost at the same time, craftsmen appeared from all directions. Swish. The sound of breaking through the air was whistling. One after another, blood-colored slashes like Uzumaki directly tore the atmosphere. Continuously, they came to Iyer to kill. Extremely cruel. But in a blink of an eye, Iyer's face did not change. The exaggerated right palm turned into a residual image. Those slashes that could easily tear steel and cut through the mountain were directly slapped away by him with his bare hands. The momentum did not decrease and hit the distant land or the distant sea. On the island, the huge slashes roared continuously. One after another, shocking gullies appeared there. It makes people's scalp numb. Bang. The next moment. Iyer's eyes were stern. He stepped on the ground and disappeared instantly. A fierce punch hit Linlin's abdomen. But Linlin, who flew out unexpectedly, laughed cruelly. It's useless, your attack is ineffective against me. I am immortal. In an instant, the whole person exploded. Puff. A large number of blood-colored bats. Flying there, more than 10 meters away, gathered into a human shape. Flowing water. Silk-like blood flowed from her ferocious claws and turned into an extremely sharp blood knife. Held in the hand by the amazing and murderous Linlin. I I Ur's spear. Her face was bloodthirsty. She showed her sharp fangs and stared at I Ur with a grin. The materialized blood knife was swung up diagonally, gathering strength there. He chopped it out mercilessly. Wei Guo. Swish. The sound of breaking through the air continued. A terrifying cylindrical sword energy shock wave suddenly tore through the atmosphere and penetrated. It blasted towards Iur. Hero's spear. Iur's face remained unchanged. She was full of momentum and had no intention of drawing her sword. She clenched her right fist tightly, and her veins bulged. She blasted out forcefully. Boom boom. Boom boom boom. The loud noise shook the sky. The dazzling white light. It was impossible to look directly at it. In the unbelievable eyes of Linlin, who had a hideous face and was bloodthirsty and crazy. The terrifying cylindrical sword energy shock wave was ruthlessly crushed by Iur's violent hero gun. It hit her directly. Boom. Her whole body exploded and turned into countless vampire bats. However, Iur's eyes were stern. Heavenly net. B.U. The next moment. Countless vines soared into the sky, entwined and intertwined there to form a dense and impenetrable net with pinholes that could not be detected. Moreover, it was covered with powerful high-level armament hockey, becoming extremely tough. It came from all directions. It bound them tightly. Hiss. In an instant, Iyer's body was intertwined with amazing lightning. Astonishing currents flowed out along the vines under their feet. The densely interwoven vine net directly turned into an unimaginable high-voltage power grid. The tough and strong vine net not only bound them more and more tightly, but also continuously compressed the narrow space of Japan. Crackle. 
The vampire bats with ferocious teeth and invulnerable to swords and guns kept flapping their wings and flying, trying to bite the calamus. On the large net that kept flashing with electric light, shocking electric sparks were rubbed out, and bursts of piercing screams were emitted. But these vines wrapped around hockey were incredibly tough. No matter how hard they bit with their sharp teeth that could easily bite through steel, they could not be shaken at all. Where is it? Caramel Puff Tower. Thousands of bats gathered, and Lin Lin regained her human form. This level of electric current naturally could not threaten her as a natural monster. But no matter how she tore and struggled with her amazing strength, she still could not tear the vine net wrapped around hockey. In particular, the vines were wrapped with several special weapons that were specially used to deal with ability users. They could emit energy like the sea and make the ability users powerless. Sea stone handcuffs, tightly intertwined. Although they didn't lock her, they pressed her firmly. They made her body powerless and unable to use her fruit ability. Is it sea stone? She was hysterical, and she screamed, let me go. Then, the huge vines were dragged directly. She was soaked in the sea. Splash. Unable to use fruit ability. And was touched by high purity sea stone. Her natural strange power could not be exerted to 30% of her peak period. Lin Lin, who couldn't tear the big net at all, was soaked in the sea water. As a power user, she was completely powerless. Sea water kept pouring into her mouth and nose. As time went by, her eyes were already white as she drowned. I don't know how long it took, when I er pulled her out of the sea water. She had lost consciousness and fainted. No longer able to struggle. I er bossed sir. Seeing I er subdued the crazy Lin Lin. The members of the fallen angel pirates all ran over. They looked at each other with indescribable admiration and awe. If Lin Lin is a monster, then the one in front of them is the real monster among monsters. His strength is unfathomable, and no one knows how far his limit can reach. Looking at the unconscious Lin Lin, a large number of vines began to shrink, and the armament hockey wrapped around them also dissipated. Iyer squatted down and gently pressed her slightly swollen abdomen with her right hand. Cough cough. She, who had lost consciousness, coughed instinctively and spit out a lot of sea water. But she still had no intention of waking up directly. Iyer frowned, but did not force her to wake up, but asked unhappily, what's going on? Why didn't you put sea stone handcuffs on her in advance? In theory, even if it is food cravings, it is inevitable. But at least Lin Lin was able to maintain her sanity and control herself for a short period of time. According to her personality, she would immediately request to lock herself with sea stone handcuffs, so that she could not use the power of the mythical beast species vampire form to wreak havoc. Even when she was crazy, she could still show exaggerated strength. She could even directly break the part of the chain that was not made of sea stone. But at least it would not cause too much damage and casualties. No, we did plan to put it on her at first, and it was Lin Lin's own request. Lock of the long legs explained helplessly, but the children of the dream house were too young and their character was a little worse. Most of them were frightened by Lin Lin's terrifying appearance and didn't dare to approach her. They didn't put sea stone handcuffs on her immediately. When I and other members of the Fallen Angel Pirates, who were training on the other side of the island, reacted and rushed to this area without stopping, bringing sea stone handcuffs, it was still a little late. At that time, although Lin Lin was still barely rational, she could no longer control her violent desire for destruction. This was really not their excuse. Just when the fishman Jane, who was not a capable person and could touch sea stone, ran over with large sea stone handcuffs and was about to put them on Lin Lin. Who would have thought that she, who had just tried her best to restrain herself, suddenly changed her face. If it weren't for the quick reaction of the fishman Jane, the already proficient observation hockey would have immediately retreated without thinking. I'm afraid that he would have been seriously injured by the powerful Lin Lin. I'm very sorry, I err boss, I can't even do this little thing. The fishman Jane stepped forward, lowered his head and blamed himself, I have to trouble you to do it yourself. For I err, they regard him as a father and brother, respecting and grateful from the bottom of their hearts. It's not just admiring his powerful strength. It was the other party who saved them from the hands of hypocritical nuns and the world government, who were abandoned and had no power to protect themselves, and could only be slaughtered and sold. When the giants didn't want them to stay in Iyer bath, 
they took in these homeless children and asked someone to teach them how to read and write. They also taught them physical skills and the power of hockey. Although they were strictly trained every day, urging everyone to practice hard. But they were never treated badly or abused in life, and they had everything they needed for food, shelter, play and fun. After leaving Ayur Bath with Ayur, every child in the Lamb House had a beautiful childhood memory, and every companion was a brother or sister, not just scars and tears. They can have what they have today, and have the strength to change their own destiny. All of this was brought by the Ayur boss. How can we not be grateful to him? Forget it, fortunately, there was no irreparable loss and casualties. Remember the lesson this time, and be careful next time. Ayur frowned. But he didn't intend to pursue it. Those new children who joined the dream house were not as good as Locke, Moss, and Jane who grew up with Linlin -Lin since childhood. It's understandable that they were afraid of the crazy Linlin -Lin and were scared to dare not approach. Even Moss and others were afraid of the out-of-control Linlin. It's just that as they grow up and mature, they try to suppress some fear. In the past, when the children of the original Lamb House had not grown up, whenever Linlin's bulimia was about to break out, he would directly wear seastone for a long time. Sometimes, for the sake of safety, he would wear it for one or two months. Of course, the long-term training with high-purity seastone also made Linlin extremely resistant to seastone. Even if he could not use the devil fruit ability, he still had a very terrifying experience. However, this time the bulimia broke out too suddenly, and it was a bit out of compliance. I err, boss. I err, Oni Chan. At this time, in the distant sky, Moss, who turned into a pseudo toothed bird, flapped his wings. Behind him, there were Lily, Wit, Gerd, and others. Among them, Wit and Gerd were flying over on the thundercloud Zeus, a little behind. Lily was sitting astride a huge black cheetah with black wings, a sharp beak, and sharp teeth, flapping its wings and flying over. That was the partner Ayur had prepared for her, the large black eagle. It was fed with the ability of the cat-cat fruit black panther form, and it had terrifying speed and strength whether in the sky or on land. Moreover, it could directly merge with Lily, the user of the chaos fruit. Gerd, you guys are here. After several people came in front of him one after another, Ayur nodded slightly. Is Linlin okay? Looking at Linlin, who was wet, unconscious, and somewhat embarrassed. Even though he knew that the other party was a natural monster and was not so easy to get hurt, Gerd couldn't help but ask worriedly. Don't worry, she's fine. Ayur shook his head slightly and said directly to Gerd, please send Linlin back to the room, help her wash and change clothes. Well, leave it to me. Gerd nodded slightly. As a giant, she is tall. She easily picked up Linlin, -Lin, who was already no less than 7 meters tall and unconscious. However, although the cycle of bulimia is not too short, it seems to be irregular and cannot be predicted in advance. Ayur said helplessly, in order to prevent any eventuality, before she can completely suppress and overcome her bulimia with her own will, she may need to carry Seastone with her in the future. Of course, just carrying it with her does not mean that she has to be on the show all the time. In that case, even if Lin, Lin suddenly has a bulimia attack, she can keep her sanity for a short time, so she can wear it herself. It's better to be prepared. Everyone. Big sister Lin Lin. Lin, Lin you woke up. Are you okay? Lin, Lin Sorry to trouble you all. No, no one wants this to happen, and Lin, Lin you didn't mean it. Boss Ayur is over there, are you looking for him? That afternoon, Lin Lin woke up from her coma. She ran out of the wooden house as soon as possible, looking blankly at the mess outside. There were also those children in the dream house who tried their best to respect her, big sister, but their words and deeds were already full of awe, not as enthusiastic as at the beginning, and they were clearly a little afraid of her, with fear in their eyes. But what made her feel a little warm and comforted was. The friends in the original lamb house still greeted her happily as before. No one blamed herself, and no one deliberately alienated herself. It's a pity that everyone has grown up one after another. Apart from the, 293, training, most of them have their own things to do and can no longer play with me. Especially, looking at the dreamland that has been partially restored under the repair of I-Ur's fruit ability, but is still devastated and broken. 
This girl who is usually cheerful, straightforward, kind, and can put down the airs of the highest cadre of the fallen angel pirates and play happily with everyone, can't help but feel a little sad. She really doesn't want this. But no matter how hard she tries, she can't control herself. I'm sorry, Oni-chan. Like a child who has done something wrong. Full of guilt, she came to I er. The tall and beautiful girl, about seven meters tall, lowered her head and was full of self-blame. Where is the bloodthirsty, hideous, and ferocious look in the morning? It's okay, Linlin, -lin, don't be so self-conscious. I er will naturally not blame Linlin. -lin. Touching her head, he smiled and said, you have done a great job. At least, before I came back, you could barely suppress the desire to destroy, maintain a little rationality, and not really wreak havoc. And, compared to the past, this is a great improvement. This is not just a simple comfort. But he found that Linlin -lin has indeed made great progress. Iyer smiled gently, looked directly into her eyes, and said seriously, I believe that as long as Linlin -lin persists and does not give up, sooner or later she will be able to suppress the desire for gluttony and overcome the strange food cravings with her own will. But, after so many years, I still can't do it well and can't suppress that strange disease. This rampage. It was obviously a bit of a blow to Linlin, -lin, and she was still upset. Don't be impatient, and don't always think about doing everything in one go. As long as there is progress, it's a good thing. Iyer pressed her shoulders and continued to encourage, you must have persistent confidence and patience in everything, and you must firmly believe in yourself. After all, it's just a mere food craving. As long as you work hard to sharpen your will and determination, you will overcome it sooner or later. Hmm. Lin Lin nodded seriously. Looking at this Oni Chan who cared for her like a brother, she couldn't help but regain her confidence again. Sweeping away the previous loss and depression, she showed a cheerful smile. D. T. X. Thinking of something, she subconsciously glanced at the children in the distance who were clearing the rocks and grass and preparing to rebuild the dream park. You don't have to care about the attitudes of those children. Iyer was not surprised and smiled and said, It is impossible for a person to be liked by everyone, just like a golden treasure, countless people flock to it, but there are still people who don't like it. Quote. They just can't help but feel fear and awe of your overly powerful power. In the final analysis, those children just felt awe of Linlin, -lin, who suddenly went crazy and was too scary, and were afraid of her monster-like power. But this is not entirely a bad thing. Sometimes, it is necessary to let them maintain a proper awe. Iyer is not naive enough to think that everyone in the world is born equal, and he has never thought about completely changing all this. The dream country he wants to create is determined to let all races coexist peacefully and everyone can live together harmoniously. But he is not a real saint, so it is naturally impossible for him to be completely selfless, let alone great enough to make selfless contributions. The future Lunaria tribe is destined to stand at the top of the world. And Linlin, -lin, as his already designated, first wife. Or the future, queen, of the Lunaria tribe. The people under her are in awe. Obviously, it is right. Linlin, -lin, you're awake. In the distance, Gerd was helping to clean up the garbage. When he heard that Linlin -lin had woken up, he immediately dropped his chores and ran over happily. After spending the past few years together day and night, the two girls have already established a deep relationship. They have become close friends who can talk about anything. Gerd. Linlin -lin narrowed her crescent eyes. She showed a happy smile. She rushed over and stopped the other party. Sure enough, only Gerd and his friends would not be afraid of and alienate themselves. Linlin -lin scratched her head and said helplessly, Sorry, I made everyone worry. Hee hee, it's okay, don't blame yourself too much, Linlin -lin is an honest and kind girl, it's not intentional. Gerd smiled and said, Zero. Such a loss would be a big deal if it were an Iyer Bafu. But for the fallen angel pirates, it's nothing at all. With Iyer Bafu, it's a big deal. Iyer's fruit ability can be easily restored in a short time. And with the current financial resources of the Hell Chamber of Commerce. They will not care about this loss. Linlin -lin is not without friends, right? Iyer smiled. Gently pinching Linlin's -lin's pretty face, she smiled and said, I, Gerd, Helding and others, and those friends from the Lamb House, no one will dislike you or fear your existence, right? You are a natural monster like me, 
born to stand at the top of this sea, to be looked up to and feared by countless people. No matter how fearful, envious, jealous, and unwilling others are, this is an unchangeable fact. Yes, we just need to do our best and don't care too much about what others think. Quote. Listening to I Ur's words. Gerd, who just came over, probably guessed Linlin's worries and troubles. She was considerate, touched Linlin's head, and smiled and comforted. Lord Mountain Beard said that pirates should live freely and unrestrainedly. Quote. Waterfall Lord Beard also said that if you think too much, worry too much, and look ahead and behind, you will only make yourself too tired, and eventually accomplish nothing and waste your time. E.H. Did the two adults say that? Lin Lin seemed to understand. But at the same time, she widened her eyes in surprise. For the two former leaders of the giant pirates, the oldest warriors in the world. Lin Lin has great respect and admiration for them. She has also followed Iur to visit Iur Barf many times. She likes to listen to the two adults telling about the exciting and wonderful adventure stories of the past. So, Linlin doesn't have to think so much. Iur chuckled. Pat Linlin's head lightly and said with a smile. In short, whether it's you, Linlin, or Gerd, you just need to follow my footsteps. I will lead you to the top of the world. The so-called equality. After all, it is only relative. How can everyone be truly equal? At most, only below the Lunaria tribe. All beings are equal. Democracy. Freedom. None of his business. I er Oni Chan. For a moment, Lin Lin, Gerd and the others were all filled with excitement. Looking at the handsome and heroic Haki's extraordinary and majestic figure in front of them with fiery eyes, they showed infinite admiration and respect. Only such a man with both strength and ambition can attract them who are getting more and more ambitious as they grow and broaden their horizons. XJ. A corner of dreamland. I er, Lin Lin, and Gerd sat on the coast. They were talking lively there. Gerd, have you accumulated enough souls? Lin Lin thought of something and asked curiously. Because she knew very well that I er had always had a huge plan to build a giant sky fortress. The plan was for Gerd to harvest enough souls and inject them into a giant island cloud with a huge volume and a range of at least more than 10 kilometers, so as to build a movable sky island. As the future headquarters of the fallen angel pirates. However, it is obviously not that easy to do this. The souls that need to be harvested are too large. In the past few years, although we have hunted and harvested some pirates and marine souls. Gerd spread his hands helplessly but because we have to keep a low profile, the number is not large. Most of them are used to transform the dreamland and build various homies core. Especially the Sea King's homies 30 core, the cost is too high. Because the Sea Kings are too small to have any deterrent power in the calm belt, but the souls required to inject souls into the bodies of large Sea Kings are also multiplied. Just the dozens of medium and large sea kings with a body size of more than hundreds of meters require nearly 10,000 souls. Because they also need to maintain considerable wisdom and combat effectiveness, as the source of the main soul, they must also be powerful and powerful. Only in this way can we ensure that they can fully understand and implement the orders of the fallen angel pirates. It's not just injecting a little soul to make them move. Therefore, she currently has very few souls stored. If you want to inject souls into the huge sky island and build a real giant aerial fortress, it's not just building a huge sky fortress. The Sea King's Legion can't compare, this number is far from enough. To build a large aerial fortress, the soul required is too huge. If she, the ability user of the soul soul fruit, injects part of her soul into the island cloud without affecting her lifespan, she can create the highest level homies. Even if we don't consider its combat capability, we can only ensure the thickness of the island cloud and the corresponding quality, and maximize the range of the island cloud homies. It can only create an island cloud homies with a diameter of about 1 kilometer. This is naturally far from meeting IR's requirements. A large amount of souls are needed to feed it. In order to make the island cloud continue to grow. The, Toto Land Plan, is already in preparation and will be launched. IR folded his arms and said in a deep voice, before that, the aerial fortress plan must be completed as soon as possible. He knows very well. How exaggerated is the trump card of the world government? Is the national treasure of celestial dragons the strongest, Uranus, among the three ancient weapons? But that strike easily destroyed an island, 
even completely wiped out the island foundation, leaving a huge abyss, and even affecting the power of the sea level rising in the entire world. If the world government senses that his threat is increasing, no one can say whether it will take action. Iur is even less likely to risk his own life or the lives of others around him to bet on whether the national treasure in the hands of the world government has any extra energy. An air mobile fortress that cannot be confirmed, can fly freely anytime and anywhere, and has an erratic whereabouts, is still necessary. Moreover, if one day the world is destined to be destroyed and most of the land is to be submerged by the sea, then, the existence of an air mobile fortress is even more necessary. If the pirates, souls are not enough, then we will target those marines. He asked directly, if we want to expand the range of the aerial fortress to 10 kilometers, how much is left? To be honest, because they are all relatively large. Like Lily, Wit, Gerd, and Helding, of course, they are real giants. 10 kilometers seems very wide. But in Iur's opinion, it is still far from enough. If those buildings and facilities are built according to the standards of the giants, the remaining space for activities is relatively small. They want to build it into the headquarters of the fallen angel pirates. Of course, there is no need to do it all at once. Wait until later to slowly harvest more souls. Just expand it slowly. The island cloud homies over 10 kilometers is too large. If you want to ensure that its flying speed is not too slow, at least tens of thousands of elite marine souls are needed. Gerd touched his chin and roughly estimated, about half of the marine personnel in the G prefix marine branch bases in New World can meet this condition. If converted to the four seas, those ordinary people who have undergone rigorous training for marine soldiers, at least 100,000 or even more souls are needed. As for ordinary civilians, Gerd did not say. In order to harvest souls, they would harm those innocent people. They naturally have not lost their bottom line to that extent. As for Marine, that's the enemy, what's there to say? They are pirates, not good people. Then it will be easier next time. Iur looked calm and spoke calmly. Iur, are you really going to attack Marine? Gerd asked in surprise. Such a huge soul gap. Once you really attack Marine, it will be no less than the destruction of G-12 Fortress by Iur's Bawe giants. In particular, Marine is concerned about Iur Bawe, the world's most powerful country, and will not be concerned about the unknown fallen angel pirates. In addition, they have been searching for the whereabouts of Iur, a survivor of the Lunaria tribe, in an attempt to strangle him before he grows up. They will definitely spare no effort and send out naval headquarters, admiral, lead the fleet to encircle and suppress to deter other forces. Maybe, they may directly launch a buster call. Really? Lin Lin heard this. Some eyes were burning, eager to try. She couldn't wait to show her skills. After lying dormant for so long, it's time to show your fangs. Iur twisted his neck and sneered there. Besides, didn't you say that there is a large auction to be held in Sabayati Archipelago? It just so happens that I also want to weigh the strength of the Admiral of Headquarters and confirm what level one have reached now. I just don't know how many Marine elites the soul of the Marine Admiral can match. Pop, pop. Two weeks later. Sabayati Archipelago. A large number of bubbles are flying. Under the light, they are colorful and dreamy. From time to time, bubbles fly too high and break away from the unique climate of Sabayati Archipelago and explode one after another, making a crisp sound. Everyone, I've been waiting for a long time. At this moment. Peninsula No. 1. Slave Auction House. It is already crowded and full of people. There are pirates, bounty hunters, and business nobles from all over the world. And the seats in the middle are occupied by several figures wearing gorgeous space suits and bubble hoods. Let the people present, whether they are unruly pirates, wealthy businessmen, or dignitaries from a certain country. Or fear, or awe, or uneasiness, or fear. But no matter what they think in their hearts. Disgust, hatred. Only no one dares to act rashly. There is no other reason, because they are the descendants of the twenty kings who created the giant world government in the past and are known as the creator. They are also recognized by the world government and are the supreme world nobles, celestial dragons. The highest law of the world government stipulates. The descendants of the creator are sacred and inviolable, and enjoy all privileges. Once they are offended, even the admiral of the naval headquarters will go out in person to protect them with all their strength. 
Whether they kill people in the street, or forcibly rob women, or treat any race as slaves, they will not be held accountable. On the contrary, anyone who tries to obstruct and hinder them is guilty. Anyone who offends the celestial dragons will only die no matter where they escape to. This is common sense on the sea. The exciting moment is coming, I believe everyone can't wait. On the auction table, a figure in a suit and sunglasses was announcing passionately, the grand auction that our black flag chamber of commerce has been preparing for a long time and is held every three years is about to begin. Before that, we first. Bang. Ah. Just then. A gunshot echoed. The auctioneer, who is on the podium, talking about the relevant circumstances and rules of the auction, suddenly screamed, blood splattered on his shoulder, and fell to the ground after being shot. The venue was instantly in turmoil. Some women screamed, and others were a little panicked and pale. But soon, they couldn't help but widen their eyes, because the one who fired the gun was a celestial dragon's. Clattering, so noisy. On the middle row of seats, a fat, bloated, and fleshy figure wearing a bubble hood stood up. Holding a smoking pistol, he glared at the auctioneer who was struggling to stand up with a terrified face, and said impatiently, stop talking nonsense, start immediately. Don't waste my time. The other celestial dragons didn't say anything. Obviously, they didn't care about the celestial dragon's behavior. Especially when the fat celestial dragon glanced around impatiently. Everyone present subconsciously turned their heads away in panic and didn't dare to look directly at him. For fear of offending the celestial dragon unknowingly. Arousing the other party's attention or displeasure. Bringing disaster. In the originally noisy venue. It soon began to quiet down. Even those women who cried out of fear were covered with their mouths by their companions. They all leaned over and whispered warnings in their ears. They dared not speak again. Yes, I'm very sorry. On the podium, the auctioneer's face turned pale and his forehead was covered with cold sweat. He was holding his shoulder, which was bleeding but not directly hit. Two auctioneers hurriedly came up to support each other and retreated behind the scenes. At the same time, the person in charge of the auctioneer hurriedly ran up from the backstage and kept bowing to the celestial dragons. Please calm down, gentlemen. It was the new auctioneer who didn't know the rules and offended. The auction will start soon. He said. He personally replaced the unlucky employee. Acting as the auctioneer. First of all. Please welcome our number one item today. As the voice of the person in charge fell. He waved his right hand, signaling the guests to look at the no one, item, to be exhibited. A young, beautiful, graceful woman, dressed in a revealing dancer's outfit, with chains wrapped around her neck and limbs, was led up by the auctioneer like a livestock. Hiss. Tisk tisk, it's really stunning. It's worthy of being a grand event held every three years. I didn't expect that the first product would be so beautiful. Backquote the Black Flag Chamber of Commerce is worthy of being the largest chamber of commerce in the first half of the Grand Line, so amazing. I heard that in addition to the Devil Fruit, there is also a very rare special race. Is it the legendary mermaid? No, not just mermaids, there are others. For a moment, the whole audience was amazed. Many pirates, nobles, and business travelers couldn't help but have their eyes shining. The eyes were burning, looking at the tall and graceful figure above. Looking at the auction floor below, those guests who were looking at themselves with undisguised, wolf-like eyes, as if they were examining some perfect products. The dancing girl on the auction stage couldn't help but turn pale and full of panic. Some of them were pitiful and trembling. This year, the beautiful dancer from West Blue, Baca, who just turned 18 years old, and Grandmaster dances in all kinds of ways, with first-class skills. This person in charge is obviously also an experienced auctioneer. He has rich body language and his voice is full of passion. He was not affected by the previous incident, of money, at all. Instead, he quickly devoted himself to the auction work. He enthusiastically introduced the number one product there, saying loudly, look at this beautiful face, look at this devilish figure, it is simply the peerless beauty that men dream of. And after strict inspection, this chamber of commerce can guarantee that the product the product is absolutely original and genuine, and it is a genuine virgin. If it is fake, we will compensate you ten times, don't miss it. For a while, the atmosphere in the venue was originally tense, dull, and flustered. Under his passionate guidance, it became lively again. 
the starting price is 300,000 baileys, and each increase in price must not be less than 10,000 baileys. Although the price is a bit high, the quality is first class and it is definitely worth it. My favorite customer, what are you waiting for, please bid. 350,000 baileys. 380,000 baileys. 400,000 baileys. Marshall William. It was at the auction on the Sabayati Archipelago. It was in full swing, and the atmosphere was very lively. Not far away was the solemn and majestic marine building of Naval Headquarters Marine Ford. A tall and strong man in his fifties, wearing a black suit and a marine justice cloak, walked into the marshal's office. Hack, you are here. Sit down. As the marine marshal, Hammonds William was very polite. Although he did not stand up directly from his seat, he still extended his hand to invite the other party to sit down. Because the person who came was not an ordinary general, but a marine admiral representing one of the highest combat forces of the naval headquarters, Iron Claw, Hack. Hack Admiral nodded. He was not too restrained, and sat down with his arms folded. He looked at the old man sitting in the main seat with some curiosity. He was about 60 years old. Although his hair was white, his physique was as strong as his own. He was intimidating without anger. Is there something you want me to do? Do you still remember that kid from the Lunaria clan? Marine Marshal Haymans William did not beat around the bush and asked directly. Fallen Angel I err. Of course I remember. Hearing this, Hack Admiral's eyes condensed, and he was a little surprised. After five years, he finally couldn't hold back and ran out to make trouble. Five years ago, he, the Admiral of Headquarters, personally led the fleet. With Kong, who was then a candidate for Admiral 020 and is now an Admiral of Headquarters, and thousands of elite Marines from the G-11 branch, a total of 12 warships of various types. He tried to encircle and suppress the island where the Fallen Angel pirates led by the Fallen Angel, Kukulkan Iyer were hiding. He tried to strangle this natural monster with great potential. But when the fleet arrived, the island was deserted. Nothing was left. For several years, CP has been tracking his whereabouts, and has found his traces several times. Recalling the information of Fallen Angel, Iyer, Hack Admiral frowned and said in a deep voice, but by the time the world government received the news, the other party had already disappeared. It can be confirmed that he should be hiding in the comm belt. Well, this kid is too thoughtful. He has been hiding in the dark and accumulating strength. Haman's William's face was solemn. He took out a few photos and handed them to the, Iron Claw, Admiral. What is this? He took the photo and glanced at it. The pupils of this hack Admiral shrank sharply, and his face was shocked. The first photo was a figure with wings on his back, using the red rock wall as a sandbag and hitting it crazily. From the scene, it can be inferred that the location should be red-lined. The next two photos showed the vast, majestic and steep red line, which was covered with shocking and bottomless holes. But judging from the traces, it should be human history. This is incredible. It's jaw-dropping. Hiss. This monster. Hack Admiral took a breath. He looked at the Marine Marshal in disbelief. They actually used red line as sandbags, and chiseled the indestructible red line rock wall into this, which is really frightening. If the other party is given time, I am afraid that even red line will be chiseled through. A month ago, the newsbird under the World Economic News Agency found the whereabouts of the fallen angel Iyer in a corner of red line, and accidentally photographed the scene of him training. Haman's William looked serious and looked directly at the hack admiral, and said in a deep voice, CP spent a lot of money to buy it from the World Economic Agency. Paused. He said faintly, as soon as I received the news, I specially asked Kong to go there to guard for a few days. In the end, I don't know whether it was discovered by the fallen angel I err, or for some other reason, I didn't wait for the other party to appear at all. With the terrible potential of Kukul, Dodge, Khan I err, and judging from these scenes, I am afraid that he has already possessed quite terrible strength. Hack Admiral spoke bluntly. Well, he is indeed not to be underestimated, but he is just a kid who just turned 17. I still have confidence in Kong's strength. Speaking of Kong, who had officially become the Grand Admiral of Naval Headquarters three years ago. Marshal Haymans William smiled with unspeakable pride. Because, strictly speaking, Kong is his direct disciple. 
At this moment, this disciple with conqueror's qualifications and extraordinary talent has surpassed his master in strength. Kong, who is in his golden age, has already been recognized by the higher ups and may be able to take over his position in the future. And not just stop at the position of admiral. In time, his achievements will surely surpass mine. Admiral Hack nodded. Of course, he recognized Kong's strength and potential. But, as the Admiral of Headquarters, he also has his own pride. I don't think that a, newcomer, who has just been promoted to Admiral for a few years has really surpassed himself, the old Admiral. Although the other party is still a rare mythical beast, the King Kong giant ape form. However, this Lunaria monster must not be allowed to lie dormant like this, otherwise it will inevitably become a huge disaster. Hack Admiral stared at the photo of the fallen angel Iyer. Although only a small part of the side view, compared with a few years ago, the other party has become taller and more mature. The bulging muscle lines all over the body, although not so exaggerated, are full of terrible power and contain unimaginable explosive power. In particular, looking at the exaggerated big holes on the red line. It makes people feel a little scalp numb. Yes, that's what I thought. Boo, boo. Heyman's William stood up. But before he finished speaking, the Den Den Mushi on the desk suddenly opened its eyes and rang rapidly. Both the Marine Marshal and Hack Admiral looked over. Moses, this is Marine Marshal Heyman's William. Heyman's William frowned, picked up the phone, and answered the call. Because, generally, the calls can be transferred to his office. Most of them are urgent military information to report. Cannot be ignored. This is the G5 branch, Marshal William, something bad has happened. A quick and terrified scream came from the Den Den Mushi. Just now, a huge snake with four wings and golden horns suddenly attacked the G5 fortress. No, ah ah ah. Kacha. What? The report has not been completed. With a scream, the communication stopped abruptly. Heyman's William and Iron Claw Hack couldn't help but change their faces. Let's go back a little. The first half of New World, G5 Fortress. This marine was established in New World. It is one of the few large G prefixed fortresses. Because it is close to the entrance of New World, it often fights with ferocious pirates on the front line. The number of pirates has been increasing year by year. It also caused the casualties of the soldiers of the G5 branch to increase year by year, which put a lot of pressure on them. For Marines from other branches, G5 is an alien Marine, not like Marines, but more like pirates. Sometimes, not only do they not follow the orders of the naval headquarters, but they also have very bad behaviors. They even kill pirates. Well, bad weather, it seems to be raining. On the towering watchtower. Looking at the sky that is gray for some reason. A marine lookout leaned there lazily, yawning, it was sunny just now. Muttered. Holding a monocular telescope. He casually looked at the situation on the sea around him. In front, the situation is normal. In the back, the situation is normal. On the left, the situation is normal. On the right, the situation, huh. But suddenly, his face changed. He shuddered. He observed carefully. What is that? In the distant sky, a black spot is getting bigger and bigger, and it is approaching the G5 fortress at an alarming speed. It is a huge monster snake with golden horns and two pairs of huge blue-black wings. That is, something is going on. He hurriedly shouted to the marines below who were also gathered there in groups of three or five, with loose military discipline, a huge monster with two pairs of wings appeared on the sea and is flying over. It's not good, it's too fast. Enter the first level alert immediately. What? A huge monster. Beep. Beep. Underscore. The marines below were horrified. The sharp alarm soon echoed in the G5 fortress. The marines were not panicking, but gathered in a tense and orderly manner. Even though they were wearing the sailor uniforms that should have been quite serious, they looked a little sloppy. Although most of them were in a shabby state, they did not look like the marines who had undergone rigorous training and had strict discipline. But they were fierce and were definitely the real elites fighting on the front line. What's going on? Hearing the noise. The base commander of the G5 fortress, naval headquarters vice admiral, Speedy, Bolt walked out of the office with a solemn face. He was tall, wearing a suit on the upper body and casual shorts on the lower body, and a wide justice sack. And his legs were extremely long, with exaggerated proportions, completely exceeding the upper body. 
They were long-legged people. But before the Marines could respond, Vice Admiral Bolt subconsciously followed the sight of others and looked over. What is that? The next moment, his pupils shrank sharply and his face changed drastically. It's the fallen angel I err. At this time, a Marine officer recognized the figure approaching on the sea and cried out. Although it is different from the intelligence, the body has become larger and has a pair of golden horns, but it must be him. All members enter the first level combat state and prepare to meet the enemy. The enemy is the survivor of the Lunaria tribe with a bounty of 600 million berries, the fallen angel I err. Woohoo! Boom! A strong wind blew on the sea. The sky was covered with dark clouds and thunder and lightning. These G5 marines had not yet fully assembled, and in their horrified eyes. A huge feathered serpent with a body covered with green, shining scales like metal casting, hundreds of meters long, and two pairs of huge wings of different colors suddenly fluttered. In the blink of an eye, it crossed several kilometers of the sea and flapped its wings like lightning. Having crossed the fleet at the port and arrived above the fortress, the sky began to darken. Just spreading its wings and flying in the air gave people an incomparable terrifying pressure. These marines turned pale, and they couldn't help sweating and feeling a little uneasy. Well, the number of people is a little less. Only more than 5,000 people. In the sky. The powerful observation hockey enveloped the G5 fortress. I err, with a dazzling golden horn on his head, transformed into a huge Quetzalcoatl, looked down at the frightened marines below, and seemed a little disappointed. Hee hee, I err, you have become even more hockey after eating the golden horn stolen from the rare beast island. The giant girl with green hair. Lying on the huge head of the Quetzalcoatl, touching the pair of dazzling golden horns, she smiled and spoke. That pair of golden horns is said to have the power to make a person a king. Although for I err, that mysterious power is only so-so, it's better than nothing. Gerd, who is also sitting on the back of Quetzalcoatl, said with a smile. Beside her, there were two great masters, Thundercloud Zeus and Sun Prometheus. That's right, I err, who turned into Quetzalcoatl, had a pair of golden horns on his head, which were not attached to his own fruit ability. Instead, they came from the rare beast island in the first half of the Grand Line. Zero. This was the treasure map collected by the Hell Chamber of Commerce three years ago. He personally ran to explore the first half of the Grand Line, searching back and forth for half a month, and finally found the location of the rare beast island. He easily killed the unicorn lion on it. He snatched the golden crown containing mysterious power. As a result, after swallowing it, his body underwent incredible changes. But after he was transformed into a huge Quetzalcoatl, with his strong will and powerful hockey, suppressed the abnormality. As a result, the pair of golden horns actually merged with his own fruit ability. As long as he uses the fruit ability to transform, the golden horns will appear, and the abilities in all aspects have also been greatly increased and strengthened. Like a dragon or a snake, it has added a bit of hockey. There are people up there. Gulu. Is it a giant? At this time, the marines below only discovered. There are two figures following on the back of this behemoth. Although compared to the huge size of Quetzalcoatl itself, they are too small and can be ignored. But for normal humans, the two figures are bigger than each other. It is a giant. Okay. No need to talk nonsense. Let's start. In the sky. The huge and majestic Quetzalcoatl said calmly, we have to hurry up. What are you going to do, fallen angel I err? Vice Admiral Bolt was sweating, but he still asked loudly. He heard that this monster from the Lunaria tribe not only followed the giants to attack the Marines' G-12 fortress, but later took the initiative to attack the Marine fleet. Even Kong, who is the base chief of the G-11 branch and an admiral candidate at the time, failed to take it down, and the fleet he led suffered heavy losses. The fallen angel I err was only nine years old at the time. And now, eight years have passed, because he knows how powerful this monster is. It is obviously not something that he, the vice admiral of the naval headquarters, can fight against. What are you doing? I err's cold vertical pupils glanced at him and sneered, you will know soon. Hee hee, look at my, random fusion. Just then, the giant girl Lily was full of excitement and grabbed Gerd's hand. She put one hand on the huge Quetzalcoatl. Swish. In an instant, a flash of light appeared. The two disappeared. D.E. 
disappeared. What happened? Above the G5 fortress. Compared to the transformation, the IR in the complete form is no less than hundreds of meters long. Even though Lily and Gert are giants, their bodies are still negligible. Even after the three of them directly merged with the power of the Ranran fruit, the huge Quetzalcoatl still did not change much. And seeing the two giant girls, Lily and Gerd, who were originally on the back of Quetzalcoatl, suddenly disappeared mysteriously. Those marines were sweating and uneasy. All of them were a little surprised and doubtful. They could only wait and see. Hee <laughs> hee. Tisk tisk. Such a powerful force, it's like he can do whatever he wants. Stop it. Let me take the lead. He scolded. The huge Quetzalcoatl flapped its wings lightly. Woohoo. A strong hurricane swept over, making many marines unstable, staggering and almost falling with blood on their heads. The huge, 403, beast shadow that covered the sky and the sun fell from the sky to the ground. Countless marines retreated in fear. Marine justice will never bow to evil. Vice Admiral Bolt broke out in a cold sweat. But he still gritted his teeth and was about to give a loud order. Fire. However, his voice had not fallen yet. The next moment. The huge Quetzalcoatl. The vertical pupil that looked like a huge lantern, suddenly shone, life or death. Buzz. In an instant. As he activated the power of the soul soul fruit. An unparalleled invisible wave suddenly swept in all directions. Not only the marines present, but even the non-combatants hiding in the building were directly affected by the terrible power. Countless marines were shaken, and strange substances visible to the naked eye floated out of their bodies. What is this? My body can't move. It feels like my soul is leaving. Quote, quote. Each one of them was horrified and pale. They looked at the huge and majestic Quetzalcoatl in disbelief. Iyer sneered there. The next moment, his eyes were cold soul harvesting. One after another, souls were completely unable to resist. They left the bodies of those marines one after another. They gathered towards Iyer. KG KG KG. Plop, plop. Screams echoed in the G5 fortress. Marines whose souls left their bodies fell there one after another. They didn't move anymore, and they lost their breath directly. And everyone died in a horrible way. It was chilling. Assholes. Watching the marines fall one after another, and observation hockey completely lost their, breath. The only vice admiral Bolt who didn't have his soul directly extracted was shocked and angry. Rage rushed up. Shave. In an instant. His legs turned into springs. The ground collapsed with a push of his feet. The whole person turned into a shadow and disappeared. Seeing this. Ah, weren't you scared by the soul deterrence mixed with conquerors? I err who turned into Quetzalcoatl and was huge, was a little surprised, it's worthy of being the guy who can become the base commander of the Marine G Prefix Branch Fortress. The other party's breath is not weak. Obviously, he is the elite vice admiral of naval headquarters. Moreover, he should be the ability user of Paramesha Spring Fruit. The head of the G5 branch. Or a person with special abilities. Then, Lily and Gerd's voices echoed, both of them looked a little surprised. At this moment, they merged with Iur, sharing abilities and intuition. They naturally found that the other party was not affected by the ability of the soul soul fruit. Shadowless ejection. In a moment. As the vice admiral of the long-legged clan, Bolt's figure was extremely swift. Bang bang. Buildings in all directions kept roaring, collapsing, and breaking apart. The whole person kept moving quickly, extremely compressing the springs presented by his legs, accumulating terrible dynamic potential energy. As fast as an afterimage, the naked eye could not see his figure and moving trajectory at all. Spring rocket launcher. The next moment, his legs were extremely red, filled with hot steam visible to the naked eye. His figure turned into an afterimage, like a speeding rocket, with his legs wrapped around hockey. With unparalleled power, it blasted straight at Iur's huge head like a cannonball. It kicked violently. Boom. There was a loud noise. The earth cracked, and the spider web-like cracks appeared there. The blood-stained figure was embedded in the ground like a cannonball, with his eyes rolled back. Swish. A huge, scaled, and metallic light green snake tail. Slowly shrank back. Don't you think that because of your large size, your reaction is slower than yours, and you can only become a target? He glanced at the half-dead figure in the ruins. 
Iur's huge snake pupils were full of sarcasm, and he sneered there. The huge beast body kept shrinking. Three tall figures appeared there. Among them, Gerd, a giant whose height exceeded 12 meters, was naturally the most hated. With a lifespan three times that of humans, the growth cycle of the giants is also relatively longer. Of course, the giant's definition of, adult, is not so strict and absolute, and it is not calculated according to the ratio of three times that of humans, zero. But Gerd, who is three years older than I er and has reached the age of 20, is still only a girl in the giants and has not yet reached adulthood. B.I. In the ruins full of cracks. A green seedling grew and turned into a vine, trapping the other party. It was sent to Gerd. Anyway, the soul of a naval headquarters elite vice admiral is still good. Iyer chuckled. Even though he was easily killed in seconds, he still had to compare with someone. Even if there were many strong people, the pirates were generally stronger than the New World in the first half of the Grand Line. For most pirates, these naval headquarters elite vice admirals still have considerable deterrence. Yes. Gerd stretched out his right hand. The soul of this famous, speedster, vice admiral, which was visible to the naked eye, was directly ruthlessly pulled away. He he, the harvest is huge. Glanced at the body of vice admiral of Bolt. Gerd, tall and charming, carrying the Shinigami sickle, said with a smile, why don't we go to G1 Fortress? I err. Over the years. Thanks to I er's popular science and the intelligence collected by the Hell Chamber of Commerce. This giant girl has already known the relevant intelligence of the world government. Marine G1 Fortress, close to the Red Line, is the gateway of the world government in the New World. Although there is a Marine Admiral sitting in the Holy Land Mariajoy all year round, responsible for protecting the safety of celestial dragons, it is completely possible to rush to support in the fastest time. But for I er, it is obviously not a problem. Yes, with your strength, I er, I believe that even if the Marine Admiral rushes over from the Red Line, we will probably have already finished our work and left. B.6 inches. Lily's eyes lit up when she heard this. Holding I er's arms, she said eagerly. Moreover, in addition to a large number of souls to build an aerial fortress, the launch of the Toto Land Plan requires a large number of souls to mass produce a large scale Hormat's core. Okay, then let Linlin and Oz take care of the Sabayati archipelago. Iyer didn't have too many concerns. Since he had already attacked a G5 fortress, he was naturally not afraid of adding another G1 fortress. He was not afraid of worrying about debts. Anyway, he was destined to attract the Marines' retaliatory encirclement and suppression, so he naturally would not look back. However, the naval headquarters may have received a request for help. The Marines on the G1 side are probably ready to go. Speaking of this, I Ur's eyes were burning, revealing his high fighting spirit, don't let me down. As expected, when they arrive there, they might even meet the Marine Admiral who had already been dispatched. It was just what he wanted. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.